The Last Ride. That was that a movie? That's a romantic comedy movie, right? <laughs> the Last Ride. Yeah, the, no, The Longest Ride. It's with it's about the cowboy that falls in love with the girl, and then like she's like, or he's like a rodeo guy. Oh, The Longest Yard. No, The Longest Ride. Um, the Longest Yards of Football movie. <laughs> it's just starring starring Adam Sandler. Really? Yeah. The no, the longest ride. It's it's Dude. like it's it's about this it's about this rodeo cowboy. Uh huh. What are the what are they called? Is out. Uh, rodeo. Bull rider. It's about this bull okay. rider. Yeah, yeah. Who falls in love with this chick, and then she's she's like, I love you, and he's like, I know you to ride a bull. And she's like, no, don't ride a bull. He has to choose between her and the oh, wait, his no. profession? Yeah, pretty much. Mm. And then, then he like gets hurt, and she like nurses him back to health or something. And then there's a side plot involving this World War II guy and his wife and like letters and stuff, I think. What in the world? Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a big deal when it came out. Nicholas when Sparks, actually, I think. 2014, maybe? Mm. All right. Or it was the It. It was the It rom-com, but it oh, wasn't a that. comedy. It was, a, it was the It rom of its time. I don't know. I don't think I, I think I've only heard of the what's the other one I said? The longest yard, the yeah. football one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Though, I saw it a long time ago. It's where the um, "You Can Do It" comes from. Oh, uh, maybe I have seen it. I don't know. Well, Ben, enough chat, enough, enough light conversation. We're here today to address. <laughs> <laughs> you brought him up. That's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, Adam Sandler looks like he wants to kiss you. Yeah, he looks. Is that the guy who, who is it, Eddie? Chris Rock. Yeah, Chris Rock. Yep, that's Chris Rock. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, I think that's a great Kali from WWE. I think it's huge. Yeah. Um, oh, I guess there was one starring Burt Reynolds, too. I think it was a remake, or the original? I guess. we got to fill out this podcast, Ethan. We need to make it as long <laughs> as possible. Ben, we're not here to talk about... The longest yard, I'm afraid. We're here to talk about potentially the end of an era. Of, the end of an era. Uh, today is actually a very, very strange. It's a very strange day. It's been mm-hmm. a strange week. Mm-hmm. It's been a strange month. It has. It's been a strange year. It's been a strange year. Uh, to get it out of the way, this is episode um, 28 <laughs> of the uh, the BNE podcast, and potentially one of the last. As I don't, I feel like we have to set this up somehow. All right, baby. My name's Ethan. My name's Ben. Yeah, and um, we're in room five hundred five, which may not be our room for a little much longer. Mm-hmm. But I, I feel like we have to, we have to take it back. At least co habitually. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We have to take it back a little bit. So over the last few weeks, uh, there's been some the world. Yeah, we haven't even talked. We haven't. I don't think we have mentioned it once. But the. It's t- I, I'm actually kind of like tired of hearing it, mm. like the word, the yeah. words, it's, coronavirus. It's, it's on the collective minds. It's on the collective minds of a lot of people. It is. And um, so over the last few months, a month or so, uh, it's been... Why are you still looking at the longest ride? I know. <laughs> Whoa. All right, the coronavirus. It's getting around... And today, our, cla- our class for next week was canceled. School is canceled for next next week. Oh, my word. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> School is canceled until after spring break. Yeah. And then even that, so we had... All right, today is... Today is Thursday, the the twelfth. The twelfth. Okay, so our spring break start started on like the twentieth or something, like twenty first or something. Yeah. So the end. So next weekend is when our spring break like really started. Mm-hmm. But today they sent out an email that school is going to be closing for next week. So we we have like two weeks off completely of school. Yeah. Like next week there's a possibility of us going to online classes, but they they cut out completely. So like assign. I mean we don't even have class online. Or, uh, you know, assignments are being pulled back, like due dates and stuff. And so then, and then after that, school is like going on, like all classes are going. We're going online. On the, online. We're going on the, on the grid. It's like, yeah. Opposite of off the grid. <laughs> like Death Grips, Death Grips is online. 
Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. UNL is online. <laughs> UNL is online, which is insane. It's insane. Wait a minute, maybe maybe death. That's what Death Grips was predicting back in 2018. They were like, all right, something's gonna happen. Yeah, and then everyone's gonna go online. Yeah. Um, what if? Okay, I got a conspiracy theory. What if this is the initial catalyst that sends us into like the, the complete digital age, where like everybody's just connected to the internet all the time? You think so? Maybe. It could get to that point, couldn't it? Mm-hmm. Everyone. Well. Mm, well, what if it's not fatal? What if it's not? There could be something that's a fear. Uh, that's a fear of. Um, for that to happen, it would have to be that everyone there's a disease. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. And people always have to be quarantined about it or away from it, mm-hmm. and then if you get it, you die. Yeah, because in that situation, you're like you're always afraid. In this sense, we could probably get it and not. Yeah, because like, like we're not gonna die. We're no. like me and you. We're probably not gonna die from yeah. the no. coronavirus. Um, I know the threat. The the reasoning for having like taking precautions though is because it could get to members of the population where it would. Yeah, it would kill them, which is not good. But school is can't we do not have school next week? Yep. Which is in. I want to it. I want to like really punch that in. We do not have school, ne- school next. Next week canceled. or the week after. Yes, canceled for no, absolutely no school. And then, online. We, completely online. Everything we don't and we don't know how anything. The teacher. The this week no, is the when the te- this week is when the teachers are supposed to be finding out when like how to do online classes. Yeah. I have absolutely no idea how it's gonna happen. Math. I had a two tests l- ne- next week. Oh. Then we had a te- we had an anthropology test, <laughs> which, which of course you knew about. Yeah. And then, but I don't know how like math tests cannot be taken. Like the math tests were not formatted to be taken online. I don't know how like our labs gonna go online. There's just certain mm-hmm. things. There's so many things for the teachers to figure out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because um, we were supposed to like lay out a whole skeleton in anthropology. Yeah, there were some things that we. So. Yeah, we're just not gonna be able to do some things. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's so and like, did you have any? Do you know of anything next week that would have taken? Like, I had an, mm. like, like a couple, both of those exams. I was like, cal- that calculus exam was gonna be like very difficult for me, and I don't know how it's gonna work. Like, I don't know. One of my computer sign my computer science assignments got pushed back. It's crazy. I think we were actually one of the last schools in the Big Ten. We were the last school. In the Big Ten to we were the last cancel. Because yeah. everybody, all the Big Tens were like, hey. And then we were like, what? Uh, they are like, hey, got canceled. Didn't, something with ba- didn't basketball get? March Madness is no longer a thing this year. Okay. Jeez. Uh, I've, I've said this to many people already in these past few days. Uh, I've been like, 2020 is the year that got canceled. We really don't like what is going to happen. And it's what is going to happen. Because like it's such a year, like it's such a bad weird year to waste. Because it's like twenty twenty, you know, it wants to be a cool year, but no, it's just nothing happens in twenty twenty. What is going to happen? It's um, ridiculous. So they're keeping that and for us they're keeping dining halls open. Yeah. And um, dorms. Yeah. So like whatever. I mean Which is was, like we already have we have two friends who are going uh, going home. Yeah, Trevor and Jack are both heading um, both heading home. Yeah. Which is, I think, maybe what a lot of people are. Yeah. You know, the, there are probably a lot of people who are going home. The email said preferred that we go home. Oh, okay. Do we want to read sections of that yeah, we email? Can. Is there anything that we can pull out of it? Um, let's see. My college experience. <laughs> All right. All right. Dear so UNL community. So this was sent out by uh, the by uh, chancellor chancellor chancellor. At, like, all right, I'll read that. Um, it was sent out at nine twenty two a.m. All right. Wait, no. So I don't know. Sometime. Oh, what the heck? Why isn't it scrolling? Why aren't you scrolling? Dear UNL community, as the spread of nineteen continues rapidly, we're taking several additional steps to help protect the UNL. Oh yeah. What community. are the what are the words that they? COVID. Yeah. COVID nineteen. University has canceled classes from March 16th to March 20th, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, so 20. that would that's next. So that's next week, and that wasn't a week that we were supposed to get off because then the next week is spring break. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are some? So they they tell us that we have that week taken off, and then um, why isn't it scrolling? Okay, we encourage our students to return home if possible. For those students who are unable to go home, we will continue to support you in the residence halls. We're also spreading all non-essential university-sponsored domestic and suspending all... Okay, so you can't travel outside the country. Oh, for like, I think they, um, for... 
um, yeah, like uh, studying abroad. Yeah, like that. That's a big thing. Is like they're they're canceling some of those <coughs> those flights and things that are. All right, well, Nani, I got a message. Message. Yeah, so I think something with the uh, the studying abroad thing, I think that's a big thing because some of the people aren't able to get um, refunds for their flights. And uh, so I guess that's a problem. All right, Chancellor, where's your email again? What? Ben's skipping around in his email. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um... He's trying to get as far away from the subject as possible. Yeah. Oh, he's, fran he's frantically trying to search for it. <laughs> he doesn't know where to go. Ah! Uh, I believe it is. Oh, here it is. Wait, no, that's not it. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if there's much else that we needed to no. look at. But anyways, that is, a very, that is a very strange thing. It really is. It doesn't make... I just don't know what to, like, what are we going to do? What is it going to look like? <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> Nothing. I was going to type in something stupid. Um, what is it going to look like, Ethan? I don't know. Neither do I. I got a thing from my Native American literature. Centered upon the mini. Is it just like, yeah, I'm expecting that within the next few days we're probably going to get messages that have to do with, uh, like, some crazy the, stuff. The, uh, yeah, I mean, just teachers figuring out what to do. Yeah. Um, with the class, but that's about it. <clears throat> uh, I think that may wrap up our coronavirus update. That's just, I mean, it really is, uh, it really is a big thing. I don't know when out. This is kind of the only time that. It seems crazy that so many schools and um, events, March Madness, I yeah. mean, um, what, what the heck? What are we going to do? The NBA canceled? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just... The NHL is going to cancel? I think they already have. I don't know, though. Yeah, it's crazy. It's wild. But every, I think everybody's heard about it. This is just our... Yeah, it's our hot take. This is our hot take on it. Um, so this, yes, yeah, so this may be... Uh, one of the last episodes of the Vini podcast. It'll be the last episode of the, of the first run. Yeah, of the first like very um, very it's, official kind of like once a week. It's um, like um, it's like in Twin Peaks, you know, yeah. like they they had the seasons in the nineties, the two seasons in the nineties, and then they just started it again. Yeah, so in in a in a long while, we're gonna come back. Yeah. And we're gonna, <laughs> So my wife, Diane. How long do you think? What's your prediction for how uh, how long this thing is gonna last? Well, Donald Trump says that it'll be fine in the summer. Doesn't that seem like a long time? Doesn't that seem like a long time though? Yeah, I mean, so the real so he says that um we'll be all good in the summer, but the real thing is that so so. Like, disease season, like, kind of goes down in the summer because of, uh, it gets hotter. Okay, and that kind of takes away some... Yeah, but it's... We're still a ways away from a cure. So I guess, okay. like, we just have to survive the wave, if you know what I mean? Yeah. So then, do people have to get, like, someone Someone mentioned, like, getting quarantined for two weeks. Mm. Like, that, that was that, do you know, do we know that that's the time? I think so, yeah, that's how long period? it takes for it to get out of your system. Okay, so it really can just, like, pass. You can get better from it. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Because I know people have been released that have had it. Okay. <clears throat> and they just docked the, um, that cruise ship that had all the people on it. What was that? Was that a... I didn't hear about that. Well, that was a big thing. Um, there was this cruise ship. It was a carnival cruise, I think. It was off the coast of California or something. I'm not sure. But, like, 30 people on the boat had it, and they've been on the boat for, like, a month now. Whoa. So then they're, like, quarantined on the boat, and they just recently... They got more than they paid for. Yeah, they did. I wonder what they had to do for um, food. They probably had enough. With like, what was? I wonder what the scheduled time. Probably for. had to like eat each other. <laughs> Maybe they had to drop in. Yeah. Drop Air in drop. Like, loot boxes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Supplies. They had to get get the battle bus ready and then fly yeah. over them. Get over them. Well, what are the what's the health items in Fortnite called? 
uh, med packs? Yeah, they have to send in med packs. <laughs> <laughs> Shield potions. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Ben, how was this last this last week? Uh, this it last sucked because I was actually sick this yeah, week. Yeah, Ben so hadn't been feeling so good. I but um, so I felt awful on like Tuesday, and like I felt so bad. I was like in the car with my mom, and we like parked, and I got out, and then. She's like, just walk around. You'll feel, but you'll feel better. And I felt even worse. Like I, I felt, I felt like I was gonna. You've had experience. That's that was exactly. But I think uh, that one time when you said you had a headache and your your aunt was uh, oh. was trying to mess around with essential oils. Yeah. And then I was like, here, have some peppermint. And I was like, all right. And then I sniffed it, and I was about to throw up. Like it was yeah. even worse. I think peppermint's supposed to be like a. It's very like a invigorating. It's, oh yeah. You know, it's like a wake up. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, I, that was when I was skiing. I forgot. Like I. I don't know if it was altitude or what, but I, I remember being in the snow, just, like, laying in the snow and being like, I want to die. <laughs> like, that's how bad I... I was like, I accepted death. I was like, I, I, that's how bad I felt. What do, you, do you know what they first... There's a lot of things, like uh, skiing, snowboarding, um, surfing. I don't really know how they got, like, started. Um, so, so, I know how surfing started. Um, it started back in the... 1960s in California or Hawaii actually. I can already tell. I think you're There's this guy, down. his name's um Yeah. It's no, I know I'm trying to remember his name's uh uh Kahuna. Uh right. of Hanahuna. <laughs> I think that was from a Scooby Doo episode. <laughs> so there's this guy named Kahuna in the 1960s in Hawaii and then he was like <laughs> he was like he got into this bar, yeah. and, he, and he said, cut my potato. So then the guy's like, what? So he's like, cut this potato in the slices. So he's like, all right, so he does it. And he's like, no, cut my potato slices thinner. So he kept doing that, and he kept saying, no, cut them thinner and thinner. And then until they were so thin, then he's like, all right, this is a chip. You know? And then, he, then he's like, he ate it, and it tasted so good that he went outside to the ocean, took a piece of bark off a tree, and then surfed on it. And that's how surfing was invented. Do you just have that chip story like set up before some? That's, like, that's it, apparently how chips were invented, in like the 1800s. You just wanted them thinner and thinner. Yeah, or but that, they weren't even cooked. It's like the um, it's the um, like fable of how chips were invented. That is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't cooked. It wasn't chips. It wasn't chips at that point. It was just thinly cut potatoes. It would Wait, taste the same as a potato. How? how... How do you know if you have coronavirus? <laughs> <laughs> that is how when, up. How when how were... Know? When, when, when were... When were chips... Uh, how were chips invented? That would make more sense. All right, 1853. George Crumb <laughs> is Native American, African-American chef. The first picture said, my in a meme format, Top text. My, My name, name is, is George, George Crumb. Crumb. Bottom I, text. I invented the potato chip. In 1853. If the uh, school. Oh. oh my. Wow. What this is, is an old website. What is this? What year was this made? This is a very old website. It 2001. Appears, wow. It appears very dated. Okay, mm-hmm. we'll go. Yeah, go down a little bit. We can read. Here, I'll do this. The chef kept slicing them thinner, then fried them to a crisp and seasoned them heavily with salt. By then, they were, were too thin to eat with a fork, so the potato chips were invented by accident. The chips became popular and sub- subsequently been known as Saratoga chips or potato crunches. What? Why would anyone do What is it? Because someone walked that? in there and he's like, cut my potatoes thinner. But do you fry potato, like, do you, was he getting his whole potatoes fried? Why were they being fried in the first place? That's what I want to know. It doesn't make any sense. Because uh, he wasn't like, cut it thinner, cut it thinner, cut it thinner. <laughs> yeah, he was. I can't eat it like a fork? Oh, throw it, fry it. What the heck? <laughs> he wasn't like that. There's no yeah, way. Yeah, it was, dude, it There's was. no way. I just said it was. There's no way. I do not believe that. <laughs> One bit. All right, well, that's interesting. Yeah. No, I'm not, I'm just skiing, like, anything. It's weird. Do you think it's, it's things like skiing, surfing... Um, snowboarding. Do you think they came out of utility? You think they came out of like utility? Well, like what first? utility does the surfing have? Uh, like someone's like, all right, I want to get this thing across the water. It's like mm-hmm. a raft. It's like a, he made a small raft. And he's like, wait a second. Yeah. 
Wait a second. I can do that. I can get on the surf. I can get on the surf. But like you don't use surfing to travel. But like transporting things, like a wagon. Like you know, if you have something. But you go on like it. in a U shape. You go out, and then you come back in. Yeah, but what if he was saying he was using a board to travel just like a little bit? He was using a board to bring like a box of. He got a board. He has a box. He fills the box with bananas. He said instead of carrying this bunch of bananas, instead of, instead of carrying this like 46 bananas, I'm going to put these 46 bananas in a box. The box doesn't float. What the heck? I'll put it on this board that I know floats. Mm. Then he walks out. He's like, all right, I have to go like in between these two islands. Okay. And they're very, very close together. And he's like, all right, so I'm not, I'm not going to carry the box. Uh, Kahuna. You said oh, yeah, Kahuna. Kahuna, Kahuna of course. Kahuna, Hanahuna. So. And then, um, so he's like, all right, I'm going to go between these two islands. So he gets the board, and then he kind of pushes it, he pushes it across, or mm-hmm. whatever, floats with it across. And all of a sudden, a gnarly wave, <laughs> a gnarly wave comes up. And he hangs ten. No, the bananas hang ten. Ooh. And they start, like, cruising, and he's like, oh, it's beautiful. The board, like, mm-hmm. stays, and it, like, stays pinned, and the bananas are, like, a good weight, and they're kind of shifting and everything. Yeah. And he's like, you know what? I could do that. It's like an aha moment. Mm-hmm. So he does it. And so he gets on it. And you would think that, that that's a weird connection to make. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, I could be on that board instead of the box of 40 bananas, and I could use it as, like, a recreational thing. Yeah. But I don't think that's any weirder than saying, cut my potato thinner, cut my potato thinner, and then saying, oh, you know what the heck, I can't eat it with a fork, throw it in the fryer, and I'll eat it with my bare, grubby hand. <laughs> Which leads to coronavirus. Which leads to something like the coronavirus. Yeah. This all ties together. Thank you very much. Then we click and it ends. All right. Except we're not going to. Because, because this is the end of the beginning podcast. It is. It's sad. Maybe. Maybe. It's the end of our... Of again, this iteration. I'll, uh, yeah, again, I'll it's, say it. It's the end of this iteration. It's the end of the weekly uploads of a kind of closed format. You know, we may just get together because I do really, really enjoy making podcasts yeah, and just talking and discussing things. It's like swans. Like, they have different eras. Like, their first era in the 80s was the no-wave era. Then they stopped and they got a bunch of different new musicians and they created, like, post-rock and stuff. Yeah. Or, like, like gothic rock or whatever. And they broke up for, like, 20 years and they came back with, like, five albums. And that's a new era. We're going to come back with five podcasts. Yeah, we are. We're going to... Uh, yeah. Five different podcasts. Can we do a podcast through Skype or something? Maybe. I'm sure you can uh, upload... I'm sure you can... Uh, like take audio from the computer. I don't know how you do it, but yeah. um, I'm sure you can. Because I think that's how PCP does it. Is they Skype because they don't all live together. I don't think. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. I yeah. I for sure know a podcast that will record like th- through um, online. Dang, and we could get like multiple people on it if we did that. Yeah, we could. We get a crew. Yeah, a crew. Speaking of a crew, uh, sometime during this episode, we want to get. We want to get some thoughts mm-hmm. from uh we're gonna go and we're gonna see if any of the uh the boy boys we've met mm-hmm. throughout the semester have been on because this is the last time we may see them yeah legit like legitimately because they're going if they're going home and we're parting everyone's parting ways this may be one of the last times we see them geez ethan way to make me sad <laughs> you can just look up information on the longest ride again and then get yourself in oh a, yeah it's true a better mood uh, you know, Ben, I've been thinking about this for a while. What have you been thinking about for a while? If you were in... Well, first, let's give you some background. Okay. Do you know what's the biggest bed you can think of? All right, well, all right, first, what kind of beds do we have? Because these are <coughs> atrocious. I just oh. want to... I just want to... Uh, are, are they like twin beds? They're uh, they're long twins, I believe. Long twins? Yeah. I just, <laughs> long twins. I just want to <laughs> address that. These beds are not good that we've no, been No, they suck. They're not... I can sleep okay in them, but really they're not the best beds at all. Yeah, like this this couch down here I think is more comfortable. I haven't had the, uh, the, the um, what would you call like an opportunity that you're extremely thankful for? Like, it wouldn't be a blessing, but it, you wouldn't have the, I don't know. I haven't I, slept on this futon. Yeah, I know like I was, like a month ago I was walking on it and I put my knee down right here and I heard a snap. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I was like, ah! Oh no! And then, but then I like felt around, but it, nothing happened. Oh, so it just I, made a noise. Yeah. So I think I don't know. I might have broken like one of the things inside of it, but I don't know what it would have what been. What it's gonna happen? Yeah. And it hurt my knee too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was your knee that made the sound. No, it was like distinctive, like wood. Okay. 
So. I want to see. Maybe I can get my sternum to pop. Oh no. I think I need a chair though. All right, let's keep talking about beds. So these twin long beds kind of suck. But what's the biggest bed you can think of, Benjamin? Probably my bed at home. What size is that? Like it can fit like two of me. That's not a size. I don't know. It's like a bed. queen. I think biggest one that I can think of is queen. I think there's a California king. And then but let me let me bring you to the biggest size of bed that I'm aware of. All right, all right. The Alaskan king. The Alaskan king. The Alaskan king. I don't know the dimension. Wait, can we look up the dimensions? The Alaskan king. It's a very, it's like a very legitimately sized, like small, it's a, it's a bed that would fill up a small room, basically. Yeah. Nine feet by nine feet. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so it's a huge, I mean, it's a very big bed. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. An Alaskan king bed, like its namesake, is en- is enormous at nine feet by nine feet. We can also make an Alberta king bed, which measures eight feet by eight feet. <laughs> oh, here's a little size guide right here. How does it look? Um, well, it hasn't. Okay, so. Oh! oh! <laughs> wow! I got it. <laughs> that was my sternum. Ben, what are the three parts of the sternum? I don't know. Gosh dang it, Ben. The sternum, the... The xiphoid process, the body, and the manubrium. Wow, I got that Benjamin question wrong. Benjamin Armadas. <laughs> yeah, we just have a lab test. <laughs> okay, so Alaskan king bed can fit four people comfortably. Mm, that kind of conflicts with my question. Mm. A king bed can fit two people and a baby. Uh, a California king can fit two people but not a baby. A Wyoming king can fit two people, a baby, and a dog. A queen can fit two people. A full double XL can fit two people. Full double can fit two men. Uh, a twin XL can fit one girl, and a twin can fit a man, and a crib can fit a baby. Huh. Well, no, having all that information in mind, knowing the sheer size of an Alaskan king, a dis- the destructive size of an Alaskan king. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what about the one in Burt Wonderstone? I have no idea. I have no idea what that is. What's Bert Wonderstone? It's a movie. Is it good? Bed? What the heck? What is that? Why is it so big? <laughs> Biggest bed in Vegas. Huh. It's a movie starring Steve Carell. Is it good? Mm, it's alright. It's about ma- a magician. Oh. I want to see... Uh... There's a movie that I... It's called The Illusionists. Or The oh, Illusionist. Is and that I think I wanted you to see it. I wanted like, you to see it. Oh, The Prestige. That's what it is. That's yeah. what it is. The Prestige. That's by a famous director. I've wanted you to see that. I, I've seen for it. For a while. You have? Did yeah, you? when it was on Netflix. Did you like it? Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. I, I didn't finish it, but what I did see, I liked. Oh, the end is the best. The end is when it all makes sense. That's the only part you need to watch. Is really? the end. Literally. Yeah, because the whole time you're wondering like what is hap- like what is happening. I think I like I liked what was going on, but I didn't understand what was happening. Yeah, the, the very end. It, that's when it ties it all together. Because you have it, you feel like once you watch it once, you feel like you have to watch it a second time, mm. so you can know what's been happening the whole this whole this whole time. Anyways, we have the prestige. Uh, yeah, that's that's covered. Ben, if you had an Alaskan king bed. Oh. And you had you could invite five people over. Well, it says it can only fit three. Well, how about how about with okay? You, you mean? What five? You're being you're, how about, five, you're how getting nice and comfy with five people, Ben. It's set in stone. Five people. What if what if it was three people and you had to like you could like watch them sleep? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? So like, because it can oh, fit three people. No, it can fit four people, but if one of them's you. Okay, so okay. three people. I'll agree with you. I'll agree with you. I'll agree with you. Wait, you can't okay. watch them sleep. So five people, sleep. that means that you, so it's, if it's nine by nine, then you have less than a, less than two feet of space. You guys are all, person. you guys are sleeping crisscross applesauce. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? I think that that, uh, range is for like, each person has that much. People are talking. Outside. Yeah. There's some yelling. Okay. We have three people. All right. What, who the three Including people? me or not? Yes. Where you... It's a sleepover, man. <laughs> okay. So am I sleeping on the floor? No. You're sleeping on the bed with three other people. So okay. the bed can fit four. All right. So you invite three people. Who would you want to invite? Mm. And why? All right. Let's see. I already have two of mine. Okay. <laughs> 
uh, Ben's just looked up uh, celebrities. He's trying to find someone famous to um, bring along on the trip. John Paul Jones for you. Oh, John Paul Jones, easy, for easy sure. pick. John Paul Jones from The Bachelor. He he's funny. He, he good can, looking. He's good looking. He can make jokes. And nice hair. Nice hair. He John can... Paul Jones. You honestly just have to explain yourself by saying John Paul Jones. Okay. All okay. right. So John Paul Jones. You know, for The Bachelor, you know how they have uh, they list like their names and then their occupation mm-hmm. beneath. Yeah. John Paul Jones has his own name twice. So he has John Paul Jones, and then instead of a job, he has John Paul Jones. Wait, what? Is that a mistake? <laughs> no, absolutely not. No. What? He's just John Paul Jones, baby. All right. Um, so John Paul Jones, Yokozuna. Who's that? I'll show you. You were waiting for me to ask who that was. Yeah. Sometimes you say things, and you want me to ask what it is. <laughs> who is that? Is that a sumo wrestler? You're complaining that the size doesn't the size doesn't <laughs> matter, and then you bring in a sumo wrestler. <laughs> he's all right. So he's a guy from the WWE. He's uh, they build him as like this this Japanese sumo wrestler. He's actually Hawaiian. <laughs> um, he died. Oh. Yeah, not too long ago. So yeah, Yokozuna. How old was he? Like thirties, I think. Or he was, uh, no, he died like in the 90s, I think, or something like that. Oh, okay. Wait, did he die actually? <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, he died in 2000. Hmm. Oh, Bam Bam Bigelow. You're going to bring two WWE <laughs> guys? <laughs> no, he's dead too. No, I'm not going to bring Bam Bam Bigelow. <laughs> um, oh, maybe King Kong Bundy. What? <laughs> That guy's an animal. Why? He's a bald head. That guy's really, really scary. He's a thumb. That guy's really scary. Wow. Oh, Razor Ramon? Razor Ramon. Scott Hall? That's his, his like, ring name is Razor, Razor Ramon? Razor Ramon, yeah. It was back in the 80s, I think. Yeah, it was in the 80s. They kind of went And off. he was Cuban, and he, like, did cocaine. They went off with the uh, <coughs> names back then. They kind of yeah. went... It was like... You've told me about, like, the punch-out stuff. They they kind of, like, went... They targeted, like, a very specific aspect of the culture that they were bringing in. Yeah, they, like, they basically did blackface for every culture. Yeah. Like, um... What is this guy named Tatanka? What? Yep, he's a native. And he's a Native American guy, and he wears a headdress. That's nice. Ben's gotten very passionate about Native American uh, rights. I have. Ooh, Big Van Vader. Now that's that's a that's a that's a cool looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he needs help. Yeah, he looks like I don't know how to get out of this mask. Help. Vader time. <laughs> Vader time. That's very. That's so weird. This guy looks, he's like wearing a, uh, how would you describe that? Um, it's like a net over his face. It's like, it's like a, it's it's like like a very ineffective headgear. net. Yeah, it's like headgear. But but why would he wear it? He's dead. Why are all the WWE people dead? Because like so soon? Um, it's actually a really big controversy. It's because um, when they're in the WWE, so the WWE contracts them as, um, what's it called? Like freelance or... Um, you know what I'm trying to say? Like how, like your job? Like a freelance contractor? Yeah, like a, like a free, like a free contractor. Okay. Right? They, they, they don't hold, they, they hold them on a contract by saying like they're a person that they're paying to do the, do something. Like a plumber okay. or um, like a builder or something like that. Yeah. Someone you would hire to bring in to do work for yeah. you. But however, their contract also states that they can't work for anyone else and all this other stuff. Okay. So it's really big controversy. Because um, they don't give them any like healthcare or anything like that, and then they are just destroying their bodies doing this. Because there's no there's no off season in WWE, so they're on the road year round. And then um, uh, I've seen in documentaries, they're they're like hurting and stuff, and then they send in a doctor, and then just have they open this case, and it's just a giant suitcase filled with opiates and like painkillers, and they're like, all right, take take what you want, and then they just get absolutely wrecked and abdicted and then their hearts oh yeah I didn't even think their hearts are not yeah and they're big guys too so 
Uh, what else? Like a bunch of bunch of them, or so yeah, yeah. They 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 work year round. They don't get any health care. Yeah, they're just not. I mean, they're not being taken care of. Yeah, That's basically the. And then there's basically no retirement plan whatsoever. There's no exit plan. Okay. So, like, um, Jake the Snake Roberts. Um, he's yeah, Jake the Snake. He I think his name. Um, he um, this a few years ago he got cancer and he couldn't pay for his treatment at all. But really? but he set up he set up a um, a GoFundMe and he and it got ra- and he raised money for his cancer treatment and all that stuff. So mm. it, was, it was really cool. Um, Jake the Snake is that the guy who had the puppet? No, that's um, that's um, mankind. Oh, Ben actually has a very extensive WWE. I used to really be. Into- yeah, I think I remember we were we did we like begin. Were we like just becoming friends when you still had like a fourth grade? Would that would that have been a time where you were like really? Yeah, I think so. Knowledgeable. I guess you still are, but very actively. I, I don't watch it anymore. Your... Like um, but did I you still ever go remember to a live? it. No, I think I Will. I think my brother did though. I went like two years ago. Really? Yeah. Huh. Because my brother was really hmm. into it, and so I ended up going with him and my dad. Uh. Jake the Snake was the guy that had the anaconda, and he'd bring it into the ring. A live one? Yeah. Whoa. And then, and then um, he was on the Joe Rogan podcast, actually, not that long ago. And then he's like, so did you have that snake, like, all like the whole time? He's like, no, it died a bunch of times. We had to get a bunch of new ones. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> they would, like, suffocate to death on the plane and oh, stuff. Oh, shoot. So he's like, no, we, we went through a bunch of them. Oh, yeah, that's no good. So, uh, oh, wait, so what does that take us to? So that's, you're at, um, you're John Paul Jones, of yeah, course. Yeah, John Paul Jones, at... Yokozuna, and Marley. Puppy Marley. From where, oh, like from Marley and me? Yes. <laughs> okay, why, all okay. right. Like, because Yokozuna, so Yokozuna takes up the space of more than a normal man. I, yeah, I would say so. He weighs around 420 pounds, if I had to guess. And he has to weigh more than like he. Oh, uh, maybe we, no. You know what? That may be straight on because we've seen Ooh, we've seen like my, we've not seen some life. But Yokozuna, he has to be like at, he has to be like somewhat mobile. Yeah. So I think you're you're right. I think that yeah, like, actually, that's, that's like probably almost spot on. Yeah. So I, I bet like he he worked to be keep himself at four hundred twenty pounds. Like he's like I can't go over four hundred twenty. Yeah. Um. So then that's obvious. So if you're four twenty pounds. Yeah. You're not going to take up the normal amount of space. That so a you're taking person. up bigger. Yeah. So yeah. Is that, oh, that's your that's your reasoning for choosing Marley. Yeah, puppy Marley. Well, that's good. I, I would choose. I think a dog. I think mm-hmm. that's like perfect. Let's see. Who, why wouldn't you want to sleep with? Or who? What's another small? Oh, what about Mort from Madagascar? <laughs> Mort. <laughs> Mort got this into a car wreck. I want to. I wanted to say that so bad. Mort got this into a car wreck. And then paralyze <laughs> my <laughs> neck now, down. <laughs> now I can't move it. Move it. <laughs> oh my word. Mort got us into a car wreck. So you're saying if you if you had an option to sleep with Marley, the puppy, the cute puppy dog, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you would choose Mort. <laughs> <laughs> you would choose Mort. I watched some scenes with Mort last night, and he was pretty cute. Oh okay. Oh wait, Mort is the is in the lemur king. He's no, the little Mort, one. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I get that. Mort's the cute one. Yeah. The, Julian's the Julian, lemur king. Yeah. Julian's the lemur king. All right. So is that your final? Oh yeah. So you you got a little push and pull. You're yeah. you're choosing a, a bigger than average guy, but you've got a you've got yeah. a dog. So that's yeah. good. And uh, well, I got a. What is Mort? What oh is yeah, he? you're right. If he's your choice, he's like a lemur. He's a. Is uh, he a lemur? I, no, or is he I, a squirrel? Julian's a lemur. Uh. Or is he like is he like a like a ferret? No, he's a, <laughs> I can't. I wouldn't be able to say what he is, but he's like a, he may be a tar he may be a tarsier. Maybe. His eyes are bigger than his brain. Brain. Yeah. No por- post orbital uh, closure. Uh, I wrote down no eye sockets. <laughs> <laughs> no eye sockets. Or I put I put big eye sockets or something. <laughs> On the on the anthro test today. Well, you know, on it, I wish we had the, the copies of our answers because we could go over and I could like <laughs> quiz you and you could say what they were. Um, I, What's the still? What are you looking back? What do you think the cra- craziest answer you put? Down okay. Is? Uh, probably <laughs> on, the, on the one it's like, um, the what part of the? I just put down rib. <laughs> like on the, the beast. 
<laughs> oh, be specific. Like when it had the rib. Yeah. Yeah. The an- I think the answer was first rib. Okay. First rib, because it's uh, that's what I remember is that the the top rib is like a really messed up one. Mm. It's really gnarled and like. Um. Closed. I okay. I remember. All right. Legit. Like like for me, none of the. I could not. I probably didn't get any of the primate skulls. Oh, right. I I just I wrote down. I only wrote down New World or Old World on all yeah. of them. I didn't know. Yeah. Which one to do? Um. Because there's a lot. There's I memor I memorized them, but I do not have any idea. Mm. I actually want to see uh, my kind of my study for this test specifically and some other ones. What I do is I basically like drill the information, and I can get it so I can write them all down. You man drill the information, if you will. <laughs> what? Why? Because it's like a monkey man drill. <laughs> Like it's a species. Like oh, okay. I didn't yeah. know. I didn't know that. You mandrel the information. I thought you were trying to say like man, like man spread. <laughs> no, like, no. What's happening? <laughs> no, like like the baboon mandrel baboon. Oh, okay. I yeah, yeah. I had no idea. That was good if I had got if I had gotten it. Yes. Uh, I like drill it and then I can get it into my head. Yeah. But if I don't like keep rerunning it, I want to see if I. All right. So primates. Yeah. You have primates. Mm-hmm. This is my lecture. This is my short. Okay. Lecture. Cool. cool. Okay. So we have the primates, right? Yes. And within these primates, I believe that's, I don't know, suborder, superorder, order, but I'm going to say order of the primates. Suborbital. <laughs> Stop. All right, we have primates. Yes. At the very top. This uh, group splits into Stepsorini, mm. uh, Haplorini, mm. and Tarsidae. Okay. Uh, Haplorini splits into uh, Katahari and Platahari. Uh, and Katahari splits into... Demasi. Katamari Demasi. No. Platter... Or, uh... Platypus. Sep... Tember. Seps... Sercoids? Sepsoriasis. Sepsories. I forgot what the other one was, but then hominoids. Mm. And that's the breakdown. Okay. Uh... Oh, I sepsor- remember... I don't... can't remember what that word is. It's a really long one. Sepsor- sepsoroids. Sepsoroids. Sepsorine, I feel like Rhine is in there somewhere. Uh, but I remembered another funny one that I wrote down. Okay. Um, it was, uh, name what subspecies this is or whatever, yeah. and then name a reason for why, and for the reason for why I put teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's like, really? I, yeah. But like, you have to put like two, one, three, three down oh, the formula. But. I know. I know. On the back side, I just put in random numbers that are from two to three, oh, and from one to three. That's funny. Um, I think I got the human one right though. Is it two, two one two three over two one two three? Oh, is is it like over? Yeah. Oh, I just put down four four numbers. That's that's what I put it down originally, but I was like, maybe she wants the full thing because mm. you're supposed to say like half Dang. half. I think this might be the worst grade I'll get on any test ever, <laughs> like in my entire school career. <laughs> Can we have a five minute podcast going over our test answers that'd and quizzes fu- when she hands them back? That'd be really funny. Oh wait, how's she gonna hand them back? That's right. What the? Jeez, it's like it's like everything. You know what do we do? I feel lost. You know, it's I like think some... I put down radius twice. Really? Oh, for bones? Yeah. There definitely wasn't radius twice. Yeah. They didn't have an ulna. That's oh, I, I sure. definitely put down that. That one. is, there did not, they did not have an ulna, which I was surprised about. Because mm. you know it's the ulna because it has the U shape oh. on one side of the bone. Yeah, I definitely put down ulna once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> um, when, when it said uh, side the bone yeah. too, I just put a, I just yeah, put, I mean like, heads like, or tails. Like I was 50. like, I that's like fifty fifty. That's not bad. There were a few mm-hmm. that I knew. I knew all the. I knew all of the bones. I know that much. I know all the bones. I didn't know the sides. I didn't know. <laughs> I knew actually. I probably. I maybe got most of the sides right, without knowing a fifty. Without getting a fifty. I shot. know. I for the hip bone or yeah. whatever. I just put hip. I think the. I put oscoxa. Because mm. that's like the gen. That's like the term. I think you're supposed to use. If she could have an interview with me after this, <laughs> she'd be like, have She's you learned what? nothing? <laughs> what is wrong? Is this a joke to you? I'm like, I'm sorry. I I, I don't have a drive to do the, anything yeah, in this class. Yeah. I, like, okay. It's a hard, it's a, it's, <clears throat> it's a difficult class. Yeah. Like, uh, I mean. And bones are tough. And bones are tough. I don't have a good reason for doing bad in this class. Except for that you just don't want to. Yeah, I just don't. I'm not. I'm, I'm willing to admit that I don't want to put in the effort to do good in this class, to do yeah. well in this class. Which is like. I mean. It's, as long as you're admitting it. Right? Yeah. That's like. It's not like, a, why am I not doing well in this yeah, class? Yeah. It's, and, and it's not like I'm blaming anyone. You know. Yeah. You're just like, I'm not. Yeah. It's, it's, I'm, I'm stating right now. I don't care. 
but I should. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair. Yeah, I don't I don't know about that test. It was la- I think those tests are hard. My uh, my the test the actual like te- like for the class not the lab test but the last test we took was graded very harshly. Really? Yeah, I got well, a I think I got a yeah. Well, I I then I definitely got even worse than you because I know that. Well, it, yeah, it wasn't like it was graded. It was graded harshly. Um, because all the vo- she had ten short answer questions for vocab, and they were each three points. And if you didn't have like certain words, part yeah, exactly. If she didn't have certain words, she wouldn't give you a point. Mm. And so, like for for some of the definitions that I technically like are correct, like are correct with yeah. quotations. Like if that's what it is, mm-hmm. I just didn't use a few words. That she wanted, I like. I got one out of three, and so that mm. like tank that like tanked. Yeah. My girl, and there was two essay questions on the back, which I got both. I got one of them. Um, I got one eight out of ten, the other one ten out of ten. Oh, nice. And so the other vocab, like it wasn't the essay question; it was like the vocab and not getting. And there was a few like we both we talked about it earlier, like the um, we both got the teeth gap wrong. Like, yeah, diastema. So wrong. Like and now forever so we're gonna wrong. remember what a diastema is. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. But anyway, I think it's a tough class. It's yeah. a tough class. Yeah. And I think science in general, typically, I think it typically leans towards more, it's more intensive. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm just not cut out for these types of classes. <laughs> um, Ethan, uh, you're, you, he was talking, you're talking to me. Uh, you have a human geography class. There's like 30 to 40 people in there. Oh, my word. And six people showed six up. Six people showed up the last time I was in Jeez. lecture. Six people. And she was like, she looked up. The first thing she said was like, oh, well, it looks like uh, some people decided uh, not to make it tonight. So we'll uh, uh, we'll have to see. We'll just have to see. Wait, that's all? Did she do the class? And yeah, she had, yeah, we had the class. But there were six people. Out of like the 30 to 40 people, there was... <laughs> And I don't, I honestly do not, I don't blame them that much. Really? Just because, like, I I've get, never been class, I get so. some things from the lecture, but it really, it's not that, it's not. Essential? Like. Yeah, it's not, I, I will say that, it was not essential. With the things that she provides on Canvas, there's a lot to be taken from there mm-hmm. instead of lectures, and that's what I'm going to so say. So what does she even talk about? She does, she talks about the things that, the, the topics, I mean, she talks about everything that she needs to. She mm-hmm. lectures, it's just not. For me, especially exciting, and there's a lot of things that you could get off of Canvas yeah. uh, that are resources that are uh, good. But that's yeah, that's my reasoning behind that. But yeah, it was kind of strange that there was only six people there. Yeah. Um, I don't think to finish off this bed thing. Yeah. Because uh, what was that? Oh, wait, there was this. I, we're not going to be able to remember it. I don't yeah. think. But there was a there was a topic that we had on a previous podcast where we started it. And then we had a tangent that was like the entire episode, and then we answered the question at the end of it, and I can't remember what it was. I don't know, but I know what happened. I'm not going to be able to remember it, but um, yeah, finishing off this bed, I have Quentin Tarantino. Mm. Um, A spider. Oh, no. Quentin Tarantino, the movie director, who was, oh, Tom Segura. Tom Segura, yeah. And uh, I was trying to, I've been trying to think of uh, somebody, and uh, Jimmy Dean. Is my lot the, per- the person Dean. who makes breakfast sandwiches? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jimmy Dean? Because I was just thinking, what do you need? What what could be like the per? I was trying to think of how Ooh. to make it even better. How to make the sleepover better? What would be better than waking up to Jimmy Dean in an apron and uh, a pair of checkered boxers mm. making you some Jimmy Dean? You know, breakfast. steaming up some Jimmy Dean breakfast. I don't think I've ever actually had a Jimmy Dean like. Uh, breakfast sandwich. I don't think I have either. I mean, I've I've never I haven't heard of Jimmy Dean until now. I mean, I've seen it, but like I didn't. You know, know it was like the commercial. That. He's like, uh, is there anything better than waking up and having bacon? He's <laughs> 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 like, for fifty years I've been <laughs> making egg sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> this is like so, these are rejected. This is Dolores. <laughs> She's been working here for thirty five years. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot about that video. Okay, There's so a video on the uh, night NFL footballs uh, making football. footballs. Yeah, the Ma- uh, Wilson. Yeah, Wilson, Wilson company making footballs. Yeah, and it's like crazy. It's like yeah. every everything's handmade. Mm-hmm. Everything like in every step of the process is handmade 
by one person, and they yep. make so many footballs. And so the video, they're like going around. <laughs> the, the the manager, he's he's walking around, and he's like, "This is Dolores. She's been working here for forty eight years." She pound she she pounds in the the hide. She pounds in the hide. Yeah, and yeah. Sews it up. Or what? What the other guy's like? This is Dale. He's been working here for thirty two years, and he he turns the balls footballs inside out. Yeah, and that part's crazy because yeah. he's like it's. It's like a very, very it, manual it, labor. Yeah, it's that that video was one of the saddest videos I've ever seen. Yeah, because he was like, "This is this is Ruth." Yeah, uh, she's been working here for fifty years, and it's like Jeez. all these people doing are the same doing thing, one job over and over for and over. over uh, there was not one person there who had been working less than twenty years. Oh, with, without a doubt. Even the manager, I think, he'd been working there for a while. Yeah. Jeez, and and that's just to think like that's how people worked. For a bunch of years, like in factories and mm -hmm. stuff, and still do in the U.S. You know, I wish I wish I'd looked at the date on that video oh. because oh. I was wondering. I was like, how is this pot? Why don't they just do it with machine? Like, why don't they get something to? Maybe maybe they do, but then they just hired these people, <laughs> like the actors. Yeah, and that's why they were trying to. That's why they were trying to use the years. Yeah, so they like, so they can make they like we're handmade. That's ridiculous. Yeah, man, I just I had this thought. A couple months ago, mm -hmm. I was like, something that makes me angry or something is like people wasting their lives doing something mm -hmm. that they don't want to do. Yeah. And in a way, that's a stupid thought because it's, you know, that, it's, people can do what they want with yeah. their lives, you know? But that's, an, that's something that... That's something I thought about. I was like, why would you... You got, you got this one chance, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you do it by making Wilson footballs for 40 years, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's a family. They got, like, roped into it or yeah. it just wasn't... I don't know. You have to. The, the, the stuff happens somehow. Yeah, like Daddy's Law Firm. Go work Daddy, at Daddy's yeah, Law Firm. Yeah. Da Daddy's a uh, Wilson factory. <laughs> Daddy's Wilson factory. Um, Dilsafak. Dils. Oh my word. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, Ben. <laughs> ben, what do you have there? I got a Ice Mountain Sparkling Natural Spring Water Black Cherry. Uh, how does you know? How does it rate to? Um, oh, all right. No, we have to. We have to send some. Sometimes I get. We get ahead of ourselves. We mm -hmm. need to make sure that we initialize things. Yeah. We have been drinking. We have, we're very avid drinkers of Clear American, which is yes. a sparkling water. Which is way better flavored. than this. Really? Yeah. Way better. Um. Oh well, that's exactly what I was going to ask you. So that answers my question. Yeah. This it's it's not good. We fully endorse Clear American. Like, we do. We, we are. Behind Clear American, all the way. What do you think about artificial sugars? Because my dad says that it causes brain cancer, but I don't think so. Art well, they banned them, didn't they? Yeah, and then they brought them back. Oh, they did. Mm -hmm. Huh. Like they lifted the ban. Hmm. Why'd they do that? Because they realized that it doesn't cause brain cancer. Oh. That's why I don't think <laughs> it does. Because they um, brought it back. Well, I mean, sugar. I mean, it's not good. I mean, we all know that. It's not good, but it like. Is it bad? It could be neutral. No, I mean, cause, cause like sugar itself is is not like in large amounts is not good for you. Yeah. You know, like it it what does it do? Like oh, raise your like blood pressure. Small, and stuff? any small. I would say small uh, amounts. That's why they took it off the food pyramid. It, yeah. It was the only thing that you didn't need. Mm -hmm. Um, to survive. So I would say sugar in small amounts is bad. Yeah. Just because the effect, it's not good. Like nothing, nothing about it is good. It like actually it, incre it like creates uh, like a burst of insulin. It like makes you increases appetite. Hmm. Um, sugar gets stored. Like it just gets stored. It doesn't like go anywhere. <laughs> uh, but th that's the point of artificial sugar. Is like because it's not sugar. That's the that you know that's the purpose of it. And so I don't know. Artificial sugar definitely I don't think is as bad for you as regular sugar is uh i don't know because like regular sugar is found in like apples and stuff oh yeah, yeah but like um that's that's natural sugar oh. added like when they when you're when you so like, there's natural pop, sugar sugar and artificial uh, sugar yes there's natural sugar which comes from you, you can't avoid you know when you're getting it from fruits and stuff mm -hmm. and then there's added sugar when they like if you look at um ice cream uh anything it'll have like orange juice they'll have like added <clears throat> percent of added sugar isn't that just sugar though but it's sugar that they've added in afterwards i believe and i think there is a difference okay. there is a difference i believe yeah and then artificial sugar isn't sugar so that's why i mean it's like what is it then i don't know i have no idea it's like it's like uh, a compound 
but it, you can have a lot le- you and another thing is a lot less of the amount of sweetness that you get from like a certain amount of sugar you can get from a far less amount of artificial sugar artificial sugar is was made to be like super super sweet so you can have less of it and have the same taste here's what that reminds me of though heroin <laughs> because it's like this. What, heroin. They ma- what did they make heroin to replace? No, no, no. Listen, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. So they got heroin, right? Heroin, this, this amount of heroin gets you this messed yeah, up. Yeah. This amount of fentanyl gets you the same amount of messed up as this much amount of heroin. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's why, that's why people, that's what, what's going on with fentanyl is that it does the same thing as heroin pretty much. So, pe- and it's, so people have been getting that because um, fentanyl is extremely like, uh, potent. Mm. You know, but it's ten times worse, like a billion times worse. Like, what is it? Like, less than a grain of sand can kill you. I would say that. I would say that fentanyl and heroin are both. I don't know if that's true. Uh, I think and it might be more than a grain of sand. <laughs> <laughs> don't test that. Don't. Yeah, don't. Don't. I know uh, it's very small. Um, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't think we can com- be comparing heroin and fentanyl to sugar or equate. <laughs> what? Or sweeten, what is it, sweet and low? It's an artificial sugar, sweet and low. Sweet and low? Yeah. That sounds like a nickname. You sweet and low. Like. I almost guarantee, I think I guarantee it. I'm going to give, I'll, uh. It sounds like a nickname for Sammy. Sweet, sweet and low. What are you mean? <laughs> sweet and low. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. It is. Sweet and low. It's a, it's a sweetener, artificial sweetener. Look at that. Splenda. Oh, sweet and low. Yeah. 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 Uh, really? That's sugar. Uh, how? What? Oh, we got it from the... What is that? What, clear American. We got it from the Clear American. Clear, I guarantee Clear American is more sugar than this. It doesn't have any sugar. That's the point. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is in here? Then? Aspartame. That's the artificial sugar. Oh. Yeah. Wait. Caution. Contents under pressure. Open slowly away from face. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful. Yeah. You gotta be careful. Um, we have another um, snail tank update. We got two tanks. Ethan's we have got two, two tanks, tanks, baby! Woo! I went to... Um, so, okay. Another... Another... Uh, Thing. So my sister ended up wanting to get a tank. It's a lot. There's a lot of fish stuff happening in my yeah. life right now. Yeah. I think it I told is. you a couple days ago. I, I came back to the dorm in a my in a in a haze. I've been thinking about snails exclusively for like two days straight. Wow. It's like I can't get it off my. You know, I was researching them. I was can't get off your nog. I can't get off my nog. My smooth brain nog's being taken out by a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of snails, dude. Okay, what? so. I, my sister got a tank, and she, she got all the setup and everything, and then she got a, um, a species of snail called the assassin snail. Whoa. And so our, our thing was, is like, all right, I'm, bre- <laughs> 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 I'm breeding uh, pond snails, and, uh, and assassin snails, they're a breed of snail that are carnivorous, mm. and they eat other snails. They'll sca- Don't tell they'll me. They'll scavenge as well, no. but they will eat snails. And so I was like... All right, so I can have the supply of snails that I'm probably going to want to get rid of, and I can cycle them into your tank, and we'll just have... It'll be just something nice. It'll be a little ecosystem for us. Yeah. Uh, so she got the tank, but then the assassin snails weren't... Like, they're just... They weren't doing a whole lot in her tank, uh, so we weren't sure if they were dead, and she <laughs> needed them for cleaning because there was already some algae uh, growing in her side of the tank. So, so it's like, all right, listen, I'm, I'm tired of having this half-gallon tank you know, it's dirty, it's a little bit harder to clean, uh, it doesn't look as nice. I'm like, I want to, I'm, I'm starting to, uh, despite my best intentions, Yeah. despite my original intentions, I'm, I'm starting to have feelings for these uh, these little guys. You want their quality of life to be Yeah, I want up. their quality of life. So I got, so I went, I was at, uh, I probably visited Petco and PetSmart probably five or six times in the span of like three days or so. I went okay. back, I was going back and I was visiting and stuff. And I was trying to figure out what exactly I wanted for this tank. So I went and I got a two and a half gallon tank, mm-hmm. uh, which is a, a, you know, a two gallon upgrade. So yeah. that was nice. I was happy about that. I knew I wanted to transfer the moss balls over to the bigger tank. And then I wanted to try um, sand 
uh, instead of the gravel that I have in the smaller one. Just because I knew that trumpet snails and uh, assassin snails, and the thing was, I was going to take the assassin snails from my sister because... Uh, Without telling her? They weren't. <laughs> no, <laughs> we weren't sure if they were dead. And so I thought a good way to test that out is if I put them in my bigger tank mm -hmm. and then put some pond snails in there with them. And then they, okay, they have a food source. And so if they don't eat, you know, if they're dead in this tank, then... There's no, they're just dead. Like I'm giving them food. I'm giving them good, like come water. Come on, come on! I'm it's giving like, you all you I'm need. I'm giving you all you need. And so then I have the sand substrate, and then I uh, stole a rock from U and O, mm. and then I have that as kind of like a centerpiece in the back. That's and good. It, ben, how? What do you think about that rock? Okay, well, I think it's. I, I can tell you the difference between the tank on the left and the tank on the right. Okay. Using an analogy. Mm. Tank on the left is like Somalia. <laughs> <laughs> the tank on the right. It's more like maybe Spain, France. Okay, can you explain that? So I think I get the picture, but I just want some clarification. Quality of life in Somalia isn't that great. <laughs> you know, there's pirates everywhere. I think the government's corrupt. Uh -huh. Not for sure. All I know is that it's not ama It's not ideal. It's not Somalia. ideal. Yeah. yeah. You know, you don't you don't hear the phrase Somalian pirates and think of good things. It's yeah. Like, oh, there's some. You know, you're on a cruise. You know. Oh, there's some Somalian pirates. It's not like oh, let's go take a picture. Yeah. It's 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 not like hey, hey, let's go on vacation. Where do you want to go? How about Somalia? Somalia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not like that. That doesn't happen. Like, you only want to go to Somalia if you are, <laughs> if you are two things, and at the same time, one a journalist. And two, uh, you want to get kidnapped. Uh, because that's yes. that's the meme in Somalia is that journalists keep getting kidnapped there. <laughs> like this guy was on once again on Joe Rogan. He's like he was a captive in this, from the Somali pirates for two years, mm. and then um, uh, he was so the Somali pirates. Um, he described it as um, they used to exclusively just like steal boats and get ransom money for okay. it from companies and stuff. But then they switched. Were they good at that? I mean, they're like, all right. Does it work? Like, how effective? How effective do you think? It, well, so, I know this much that when they switched over to try to get ransom money out of people, it didn't work at all. Because mm. I don't know, they just like, they because they I think it was the United it. States instead of companies that they were dealing with. Okay. And they're like, we don't negotiate with terrorists, so they're like, give us the money, <laughs> and then and then, then it's like, no, we don't care. And yeah. then he's like, but we're going to kill this guy. And he's like, we don't care. It didn't work as well. It yeah. wasn't a good... It wasn't good. So I think what happened plan. is after two years, they just released him, and they didn't get any money. The journalist? Yeah. Hmm. That's no good. Okay, well, Somalia... I don't know what so a Somali Spain. accent is. Spain. Spain. Um, very nice place. The water is crystal... The water in the it's right crisp. one is... I'm very happy about it. It is crisp. Mm -hmm. It is like there was a, there was a day where the and this was to be expected. There was a couple days where the there was kind of cloud there was clouds a little bit because of the sand because it's new sand. Mm -hmm. Even though I rinsed it off, but it is like crystal clear right now. And yeah. I have oh another thing. Oh wait, Spain, continue here. Right, the reason why I say Spain and not like say I don't know Denmark. Yeah. Like if it was Denmark, then you'd have like a picture taped to the back. Oh, with, with like, like a like background. A, you know what I'm saying? That's that. the only thing that that's taking you from level. A to level S. Okay. A rank, A rank to S rank. Okay. You know, but otherwise, yeah. that's you know, A, there's nothing wrong with A rank. No, it's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. You know, you're not gonna. Someone's like, oh, who are they? Who are you playing against? Oh, he was playing someone from the A. Yeah. The A rank. It's like, oh, well, that's not. You know, A rank is a lot higher than than what, what, what was than the Somalia. <laughs> that's Somalia. Yeah. What do you think Somalia is? Like, if we're gonna if we're gonna capitalize this as a tier list. Maybe like Denmark is S, Spain is A, uh, Somalia is like maybe E or D. E or D tier, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm very I'm happy with the with the new tank. Um, I have a sponge filter, mm. so I have a little air pump. Um, that's probably why it's so clear. Yeah, the air pump is doing. Uh, well, the, yeah, the sponge filter is really is really like I mm. think it's doing well, and it's perfect. It's low airflow, mm. which is what which is perfect. So I think. The um, you know what fr like fry is like the term like, of like that you eat tiny like, shrimp like like a tiny shrimp like a like a like a French fry <laughs> <laughs> like if you're gonna have if you're gonna have fish oh you, you mean the character food. from Futurama <laughs> 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 fry I kind of want to see that I, show. it's pretty good I've heard it's pretty good um, same guys made Simpsons yeah fr fry is like 
Like a small fry. Small, like small, fr well, yes, yeah, but they're like brine shrimp. Okay. Like tiny shrimp, mm -hmm. like sea monkeys. Mm. They use sponge filters in those tanks because of the low flow, and so things don't get sucked into the mm. tank. So I wanted a sponge filter, so I got a sponge filter. And then I have air. T I have airline tubing, and then I have an air pump. So I have that all set up. Uh, the tank's running really well. Uh, in the smaller tank, actually, the baby or the snails are hatching pretty like quickly. I think Ben's Consistently. seen himself. Yeah, yeah. You, you can see. So they kind of they've hatched, and it was they were smaller, uh, kind of dot little white dots. But now they're kind of taking the snail form as they get just a little bit bigger, and they're mm -hmm. kind of cruising around. They're doing yeah. snail like movements. And I've also the figure um, eights. Yeah, figure eights. So I have all the I have baby uh, palm snails in the left tank, and all of my trumpet snails in the left tank. I haven't moved any of my trumpet snails, and then I have like six palm snails in the right tank, uh, that I want the assassin snails to eat, mm. but they're not doing it. The snail, the assassin snails have not moved by themselves in two days, and they weren't they, they weren't moving by themselves in Maya's tank. The thing is, I looked up a bunch of stuff, and assassin snails are really, they're sensitive to the water quality, mm. they're sensitive to changing tanks, and so what they, they really, and they're known as like a really sly, or a really, uh, not sly, but they are sly, uh, shy. Shy. I, all right, and there's a three, st there's three steps. There's three things that assassin snails are, I'm going to explain to you what, how they are, and okay. what they are right now. They're right. sly, they're shy, I forgot what the third one was. And they're guys. And they're guys. Yes, and that's, <laughs> that's what I'm explaining to you now. They're sly. The reason I wanted a sand substrate is because they burrow under the sand, and then they wait for pond snail to come by, or any snail, and then they mm -hmm. eat. Most of the time, they'll hide under the sand. That's how they're sly. Mm. Right now, they're not being sly. They're mm -hmm. both sitting on the top of the sand, and they're letting pond snails crawl all over them. They are being unsly. They're being well. unsly. In sly. In sly. Ab sly. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I really, like, the pond snails are cleaning off, they're looking for food, and they're cleaning off the, the assassin snail shells of, mm. like, algae. That's and nice. The assassin snails aren't doing anything. And the reason I know the assassin snails aren't dead is because they're opening up their shell and they're peeking out their little siphon mm. sometimes. And so that's how you know they're not dead. They're kind of testing the water quality. Okay, they're shy. Yeah. They're, they're known to be one of the slower snails. And, like, um, physically or mentally? Both. I, well, no, not mentally. I don't think brain, snails have brains. Mm. Uh, physically, they're a bit, they're a bit slower, and um, and so they're not. They kind of take it. They have to get used to the water, like the temperature, the uh, parameters, and the the tank itself, which I hope they'll do within the next like week or so, and that's when they really start moving. And then uh, the third thing is they are guys. Mm -hmm. um, are they how guys? How do I explain that? Actually, that's a false claim. I do not know what gender my assassin nails are. Mm -hmm. They're very difficult to sex, and they haven't reproduced yet, and so I re I don't, I don't, I'm not sure about that. Um, that that's pretty much. They've. Yeah, the, it's not like a pond snail. They were they were the breeding like snail, nobody's oh, business. Wait, the I've removed. Okay, from the, I've had this two and a half gallon tank for four or five days. Yeah, and I have removed. Tonight, when I remove this, the eggs that are in there right now, I will have removed nine patches of eggs from the Jeez. big tank. Jeez. So, that, I mean, they're not stopping. How many patches of eggs are in the left one again? Were there? Uh, with the... with the Total. Let's go total, total, total sack count. 54. 54? Yeah. Which is around, theory, in theory, on an average of 10 eggs per patch. That's like... That's a lot, a that's lot of babies. 540. Yeah. In a half gallons. Jeez. Yeah. But they're unborn. I mean, most of them are unborn. Yeah. Uh, so that's my tank update. Hopefully, mm -hmm. um, Assassin's It's very Assassin's aesthetic Assassin's tank. tank. It's, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really, I really am happy with it. I know. I knew I did want to... Um, I knew I did want to have a better tank. Because I was like, if I'm going to have all these snails in this, like, half gallon... I want to give them a good life. Yeah. And the the... All right, here's my here's the uh, the financial breakdown mm. of this new tank. The financial down. The fi <laughs> those are like the two worst words I think I've ever heard. <laughs> a tank date and a financial down. Those are the two worst things that have come out of this segment. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, well, I guess I'll go for the whole tank. Even the right, moss balls. 
those were really the most expensive thing mm. uh, compared to like what they actually are. Yeah. So it's just like three moss balls for seven dollars, I think. They were six ninety nine. No, for a pack of three. Mm. So like, but they're moss. You know, it's like, like what are you really gonna pay ball? seven bucks for moss balls? But I really do think they help uh, with oxygen production. It oh. is helpful to have live plants in a tank. Uh, okay, so bag of sand. Yeah. I would have gone lower if I could, but I couldn't. The smallest bag they had was six bucks. Mm. All right, so right now we're sitting at twelve dollars. Yeah. The tank was thirteen dollars. It was twelve ninety nine. I, I thought it'd be more expensive. I think. That's and I could have. The thing is, I could have gone for one more dollar. I could have had a five and a half gallon tank. Why didn't you? Because just because of size. Oh. Like I didn't want to oh, have that's a five. Oh, double, right? I didn't want to have a five and a half gallon tank, and so I could have, but. Um, Jeez, double for a dollar. So, I mean, I could Yeah. I do- <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, oh, my word. Wait, so what is that? A dwobbler? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, double the... Oh, wait, no. Double the size for a dollar. Dwobblerize. <laughs> do- I, you know, I dwobble... I, they dwobblerize. Yeah, it you can dwobblerize. It's, it's like, like, like you're at, you're at the checkout and you want to dwobblerize that? <laughs> And you're like, excuse me? You can get your whole order doubled for $1 more. <laughs> yeah. So he's like, you know, you're checking out the tank. And then he's like, um, hey, bro, you want to dwell below that? Oh, yeah. And, and he's, like, he's like, what does that mean? He's like, you can get this five and a half gallon tank for just a dollar more. A dollar more. And so you're like, okay, like, sure. Dwobblerize? Heck dwobblerize. yeah. Heck yeah. So then you can, so then um, if you want to say, heck yeah, I want to dwobblerize, you say, hey, dwobblerize, yeah. I'm gonna have to stop you right there, pal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Well, that's four. That's four useless terms mm-hmm. in the span of six minutes. <laughs> um, so we have twenty-four. Please, 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 <laughs> please. <laughs> you, your, the look on your face told me that you're gonna spit out another one. No, I haven't had. I haven't thought of one yet. Well, I was thinking. Actually, I was thinking about one that had to relate to Herman, but I didn't think. Oh. Oh yeah, Herman's doing well. Uh, Dude, he's, Herman's he's like he's, he's very near he's very near the end of the final uh, shelf. Mm. Um, if you look at it from top to bottom. Yeah. Um, maybe like three feet long. Yeah, three feet or so. No, maybe four feet. Yeah, he's pretty good. No. Three and a half. Maybe so. Yeah, three and a half is good. Um, okay, finishing the financial breakdown. He's straight breakdown. drooping. He's straight drooping. <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh, and Jack's plant is, is in here as well. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, well, it's still green. I mean, yeah, you, said, yeah. you said that if it's green, it's uh, so, woke. What's its name again? Uh, Ferdinand. Ferdinand. Um, Ferdinand and maybe dead. Oh, Ferdinand. <laughs> Ferdinand. Please, okay, I'm going to finish the financial breakdown. I'll, let, I'll let you loose. I'll cut the leash. Okay, right? okay. All right. Uh, okay, so we're sitting at twenty four dollars for the moss balls, the sand, and the tank, roughly. Mm-hmm. Uh, the snails were free. Yes. I didn't. I uh, didn't pay for the snails. And then we just have like the tech. Install them. The tech part of the tank, which is like the air pump. Yeah. So I have the air pump was six dollars. Mm. The sponge filter was eight dollars, and the uh, the line the tube lining for eight feet was a dollar thirty. Okay. So. The thing actually wasn't that expensive if you look and yeah, I'm gonna have a more. lot of these things I'm gonna have a lot of these things Multiple for a tanks. while. For a while. Uh, I might buy another setup. you know what? I may not get another setup. We're gonna get this thing going. You can get a, like a you can turn this room into like the snail. Yes. Snail. And people people are like, Hey, you visit the snail room yet? Yeah. And you, sm- like, you, re- you visit the snoom yet? And that's a new <laughs> Hey, did you visit the snoom yet? <laughs> Dude, what's a snoom? We have our uh we have like we we uh that was perfect that's the, the best one we snoom. replaced a snoom yeah. a snail room yeah we replaced these uh these lights with like uh oh. with like pink lights yeah and it's kind of like you know it's a room that's like yeah. all the snails are uh i start breeding um uh you know like those glow you know glowfish <laughs> they have like tetras and yep. betas and stuff that are like pink yellow green like Red, they're all, but they glow under a black light. Yeah. I start breeding snails with that, those uh, things. With those things. Oh my gosh, how does that even work? I honestly don't know how the original. Well, thing I mean, worked. Teddy wasn't your Teddy was bred with like a like a golden retriever and like a chihuahua no. or something, right? No. <laughs> it was like a big dog and a little dog, right? No. Okay, that has none. That uh, that's a completely different uh, thing than than breeding 
glow-in-the-dark fish that haven't existed. That guy, the, did you look at, like, I've read the story, but I forgot almost mo- like what? almost all what of story? it. Of the guy who bred those fish, the glow fish. Oh. Like, he straight up made those fish. Dang. Hmm. I wonder how. He, like, he gets, like, those things that you crack to make glow in the dark, and he just, like, injects I, them into them. I don't know how he did it. I think he may, I don't, I literally, I, I actually, I, I'm not even going to try to come hmm. up with it. I really don't know. If you had to guess, though. <laughs> okay, so he put he got a he had a glow stick. Yeah. He had stem cells and he Ooh. let he put some like he and then he had a vitamin C mm, like supplement. tablet, yeah, supplement. Mm-hmm. So it, it took three things. It took three things. Okay. Four things. Four things. Glow stick. You cut open the glow stick, you crush uh, you have crushed vitamin C, you put it in there. Uh, crushed like testosterone supplement tablet mm, good. you put in there good. and then you put in the stem cells mm. the stem where, wait, cells where did he get the stem cells uh, whatever fish or whatever the thing oh, okay. was done. so fish stem cells you let the stem cells grow and nurture within this glow in the dark testosterone infused vitamin C vitamin C looking <laughs> looking uh, <laughs> looking uh, uh, just marsh yeah and so we got those and then they just grew into fish oh they grew out of that yeah that's pretty cool. Huh. <laughs> 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 oh, this I think this is a good time to uh no it's not. What? Oh. What? Who is it? I hope it's your mom. Yeah. Where's your phone? Right here. Oh! You'll never guess who it is. Is it your mom? Hi Ben, this is Adam Qualset. Is Ethan around? What why? Did he try to call me? Oh, he texted me. Did he text you? Yeah. Uh, he texted, he wants to know what time I'm having dinner. Sometime between 7 and 7.30. Wait, he's, he's in your phone, look how he's registering your phone. The Adam. Yeah, the Adam. <laughs> okay, we're uh, sorry. This is a this is a brief pause. Oh, do we want to move on to um something else? Yeah. Um, <laughs> my dad's texting. Oh, my dad just asked if he can eat with us. Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna ask where he is. I'm going to call him, actually. I'll put him on speaker. Nice. (laughs) (laughs) Hello? Hey, Dad. Hey. Hey, what are you thinking? Um, I met Corey, so I was going to drive past. Okay, cool. When are you, uh... I I can be there at, it'll be like 7 o'clock. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, okay, nice. Where where do you think is the best place to park? Oh. Mmm... I can, uh, I really don't know where they have many, I think they, they have a lack of visitor. Yeah. Par- there's a lack of visitor parking in this area. Oh, okay. Um, but you can park, uh, did at where, um, that's, that's, kind, of, that's park, kind of a like? walk though. And I don't really know how to describe, like, I don't know what road that is. Hmm. Uh, there's a I can you can park like um at if there's somewhere that you want to park I can pick you up or there's I can like meet you somewhere on a walk uh there's a place right behind it's kind of like so there's the I'm gonna describe it to you I don't I have like a ma- I can't like bring up a map or something I don't know but there's like the there's Smith there's like the hall there's Smith Harper Shram. And then there's the suite. There's kind of behind it is the suites. Okay. And then behind that is a parking garage or a there's there's a uh, a parking lot. Okay. And the on the other side of that parking lot there's a street that has a uh, parking. Meters. It's it's a brick street. It's a brick street. It's like a very Ooh. kind of rough brick street. Okay. And it's behind okay. this parking lot. And so if you can, maybe I can try to find that uh, parking lot. But it's basically like it goes like. Harper Shram Smith, then you just go back to the the suites, and then go back to the parking lot, 
and then that parking lot is by a brick street with parking meters. Okay. Okay. I'll def- I'll definitely find something. Okay. And then I'll, I'll call you when I get there. All right. Perfect. Okay. Sounds good. I haven't seen you a bit. All right, Dad. See ya. All right. Bye. I think this is, I mean, since this is such a long episode, we wanted to have a scheduled break. We want to go yeah. eat dinner. We're, uh, we're, um, so this is a... Uh, we, can, we can put, like, in music and stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, elevator music. Uh, so we're going to... This is the last... Okay, wait, hold on. We can we can auto tune this part. It's the last episode of Top Games Yeah! Ow! And uh, we'll be back. Yeah, for, for another the, hour and a half. Um, yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah, I don't this, know. We'll do, we see, wanna, we'll see. do you want to put this into two parts, or we're we gonna have? The, I think maybe we should have this as a, like a final. We've already no. We have to one. Let's okay. decide right now. Do we okay. put this in two parts, or do we put it in one part? My gut or my my mind is telling me two parts, but my soul, my heart, is telling me one part. Mm, I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. Everybody, welcome back to the B and E podcast, episode twenty-eight. <laughs> uh, this is the what part ben, two. What Ben about thirty seconds later you heard saying he called it the podcast extravaganza. Mm-hmm. Whether or not this could be considered an extravaganza, we certainly are going to do our best to try to make it uh, worthy mm-hmm. of that title. Yes. <laughs> Uh, we just got back from dinner, um, not too long ago. It was Chinese food. It was Chinese very food. nice. It was perfect. It was like if you had, if you were going to a have send someone off. visit, if you were going to have, oh, it's a good send off. That's that's sad. Yeah, that's not where I was going. I was going more in the 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 better, the more lighthearted. Yeah. I was like, if if we wanted to bring someone to a to a dinner, mm-hmm. like or to a meal at the dining hall, we would want to, we would want it to be the Chinese experience. Yeah, we would want it to be our best. You know, our what favorite. we could offer. What, what this, this is what this UNL can offer yeah, for you. can offer this Chinese food. So mm-hmm. that was good. That was good. Uh, we just got done with dinner, and we are ready to continue. Mm-hmm. Um, I mentioned to Ben that this was one of the... Uh, something that I've been wanting to do, and I think maybe we've mentioned it before, but Ben has a good way. He's like... He's made lists. Mm-hmm. He's made lists I made things. a lot of lists. He, like, I have a problem with that. Yeah, I think he said like, on his notes... Um, and some of like he has some documents and things that are just like lecture ideas a lot of lists and I admire that and I think that I've made lists of my own at some point but I really wanted to get oh this is a list I made last night it's my musical evolution Hmm. so these are like albums that I that I like first memories then this is when I first started getting into music and high school early high school late and then college freshman he's good with documenting things and um, so I just I said that. <laughs> Sorry, there's. It seems like they're Jeez. dropping more stuff on yeah. the floor than they are. I know. The, down the rubbish chute. Uh, but I just wanted to go uh, and pass some ideas back and forth mm. to Ben of like th- of ideas of lists that either of us could end up doing. And I just wanted to have that documented. I wanted to have that write, written down because I, I do like um, writing things down and kind of. Putting things, and these were these would be more like top five lists or top three lists. Mm-hmm. You know, our top fa- they're like favorites. It's your favorite thing. Are we gonna name them on here? Um, we could if we think about it. But I, I was when I was thinking it when I was like, all right, I want to I want to bring this up on the podcast. I was like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to decide. Yeah. Uh, so I just wanted to come up with some things and then maybe throw around some ideas okay. for what I had because I uh, first thing I think my first like top list that I would want to make is. Book books is a, is a big one. Books, books. I oh um, I have a list of all the books I've ever read. And I don't yeah I do I like that that list as well. Uh, let me try to find it. Um, I don't know if I'd, if I'd rather have oh, it top like top five or top three, but I think one that would go on there, two that would go on there immediately. Like I know for sure would be Animal Farm and Hail on Rye. Yeah, are two of my favorite books. Um, so those two would probably be up there, and uh, then there's some other ones. I most of my books are at home, but I'd have to, I'd have to look through those. I've read forty two books, 42 like books. proper books. 
Um, the most recent one I read was Three Stigmata of Palmer Eldritch by Philip K. Dick. Like, huh. from, from like, here onward, it's an order. Okay. Of, of what I've read. Um, yeah, I would like to, this would, I mean, this would be cool, though. I've, it would be, because I know you've read way more than me. But I can't remember, I mean, that, a lot yeah, of that, that a lot of that, like, is con- really concentrated during middle school. Middle school. Yeah. And that was just, like... I mean, a lot of, the reason I like your list so much is because they're each like, you, what you, I think you read more notable books. You like, re, you read them like in a niche, like in a niche. Yeah. And like, so those are like good, those like seem like good, those seem like good books. Like I have to have a reason to read a book. You yeah. Know, like, most like of the books a, that I read, I, they wouldn't be, I don't think they would be held in as high esteem. Cause like you go down like top, you read like five books from any section of your list and mm-hmm. you'll get like a very recognizable yeah, book. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, a, I, I'd say I'm really into like classics and stuff, or like modern classics, yeah. you know? Well, I mean, and you're not going to go wrong with a book that's known for <laughs> for being good. Yeah. Pardon me. We got a mom call. We got a mom call. Yo, what up, mom? Okay, we're back after the call. <clears throat> after the call. Yep. Uh, I think we were on lists. Mm-hmm. All right, we got the book list down, so I'll make a top my top favorite list of books. I suppose I think that's probably my top one. Um, movies is another good one, I think. Mm, where's my book at? Where them books? I don't know. I can never remember what movies I've watched. That's the I think that's one of my tr- one of the reasons why I want to make the list is because I mm. can't remember like what. I can't remember what I've watched or listened to or read. And so keeping a list of things is just a way to keep that all somewhere where it's tangible and I can just go over and read it again. Movies, what would be it like if I could think of a movie? What would be my favorite? I always forget. There's always, Mm. I feel like there's always a movie that I have on the top of my list. Yeah. And now I've forgotten. Mm. But I can't remember. You would, oh, Life Aquatic. Oh, yeah. The Life Aquatic. Um, movies. Did you just punch the chair? And I, and I dropped my gum on the floor. Uh, <laughs> uh, movies, books. Uh, I wouldn't do music. I don't care about music that much, honestly. I wouldn't like come up with a top five or uh, in my favorite music. Like I don't think that really. Mm. Like, that, I don't. I can't pick out anything specific. Let's see. Do you have any, like, do you have a music? You have to have a favorite music. Yeah. Uh, oh, here we go. Favorite albums of all time as of July 2019. So there's a lot on here. Um, I guess you want me to just read them all? Yeah. Wait, how many do you have? Eh, probably like, looks like 20. Yeah, about 20. I'm all making, right. by the way, oh. I've been stealing tea from the dining hall. <laughs> he's, he's firing it up. I'm firing it up. I've been using. I don't think, is it plugged in? Yeah, it is. I've been using Ben's uh, Keurig to make tea, to boil tea. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's working very, very, very well. It's perfect. <clears throat> All right, so this is. I wonder is... if the noise is going to be able to. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. All right, go ahead. All right, so these are my favorite albums of all time as of July 2019. This is in no specific order as well. Right now, what's happening right now, we could pull this clip mm-hmm. and then use it as like a, uh, like a, what would you call someone that's uh, music that's like past its time, like noise music, what's that called? What do you mean? Like noise, like just harsh noise music. Oh. Like what would that be called? Oh, like ambient music? I don't know. Well, something that's like futuristic and doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, what I'm saying is postmodern. This, postmodern. This clip of you reading your favorite music like, <laughs> yeah. with, with boiling that water is, in the background could is. be like a like a that, postmodern art art yeah, statement. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. All right, "Dope Throne" by Electric Wizard. This album, probably my top three, if I had to choose. "Teens of Denial" by Car Seat Headrest. That's great a good album. One. That is a great album. I have a lot of these of your favorite things on my iPod. Like, oh yeah. I, I don't have it here with me now, but. I know that they're loaded onto it. They're, yeah. Uh, Atrocity Exhibition by Danny Brown. That That's that's a good one. I got into that during lacrosse season, sophomore year. That's when that came out, I think. 
uh, Plastic Surgery Disasters by Dead Kennedys. I don't really listen to this anymore, but I was heavy rotation back in early high school days. Mm. Uh, Scream Bloody Gore by Death. That's a death metal album. It was one of the first death metal albums ever recorded as well in the genre. Uh, the Money Store by Death Grips. Uh, that's probably top three as well. Um, Plowing Into the Fields of Love by Ice Age. Uh, I haven't listened to that one in a long time, actually, but it's like a Danish post rock or post um, post punk album. Uh, Brutalism by Idols. It's a good album. Uh, Gumboot Soup by King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Nonagon Infinity by King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Uh, Unsilent Death by Nails. That's that's a, that's a, that album's only 14 minutes long, so I've listened to it a lot. Uh, In Utero by Nirvana. Uh, the Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd and Animals by Pink Floyd uh, Caustic by Primitive Man Ooh, it's, it's working I'd say um, Caustic by Primitive Man that's one of the filthiest most disgusting albums like the sound of it I've ever heard in my life Like I, I remember I had it I had it burned onto a CD when I had a blazer a sh- uh, car. Oh that. yeah, 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 with the red one. Yeah, and then um, the base in that car was. Was just... that before or after the pre? I, I'm kind uh, of before. confused about your car. So you had red. You had the. Started off with a, a Nissan Maxima. White. Yes. Then I had a red Blazer. Then I had the Prius. Mm. That's a good line of cars. Yeah. Except for when the red Blazer, I was just driving Die. along. I remember, I was, I was like, like is that? I was like, is that Ben's car? Because <laughs> it was laying on the side. It was on the side of the road. Wasn't that yours? It stopped on the side of the road, and so you had it there for like a week. It it um at the school, it was in the parking lot. But then another time, I was just driving, to, actually to go see one of Isaac's um, performances, and it and just this beeping started com- happening. I was like, all right, I should probably pull over. And then the car just died. straight up died. And it was snowing out. It was cold. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, but that album sounded absolutely gnarly in that car. Because the, the bass was really distorted and stuff. Yeah. And it's, it's this one song uh, called um, Commerce. It's like 14 minutes. And it's just... <laughs> it's, uh, that's, a good, that's a good song. The Blazer was a kind of a vessel. You yeah. know, the Prius, you got lucky with sound systems. The Prius yeah. was really good, too. Yeah, and the, the Nissan had really good treble. Like, <laughs> um, I, the only album that I remember sounding really good in it was Anti-Socialites by Always, which I realize is not on here, and I need to put them. Do there. you have the that live album by Nirvana on there either? I think I do. Um, Unplugged? Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. On your favorite list? Oh, I don't. I do not. That's one of my favorite uh, albums that you put on that. On that album. That's such a good album. Yeah. That's such a good it album. It really is. Uh, the Sciences by Sleep. Uh, yeah. That's a really good one. Uh, Jerusalem by Sleep. That's the hour-long song. Okay. It's just one album. Uh, Raw Power by Iggy and the Stooges. It's a good one. It's Raw Power, that's a good way to describe it. To Be Kind by Swans. It's, uh, haven't, yeah, I haven't listened to it in a while. Don't think I've ever listened to it all the way through because it's two and a half hours long. But it's still a good album. This is a guilty pleasure one. Philosophy of the World by The Shags. <laughs> the Shags. Remember, remember Philosophy yeah, of the World? Yeah, I remember it's it's an album that's so bad that it's good. It's one of those albums. Uh, it's weird how that goes around. Yeah. Uh, In the Aeroplane, Over the Sea by Neutral Milk Hotel. It's a meme album, but I love it anyway. And then finally, Antisocialites by Always. Good album. Good album. This tea smells really good. It's citrus green. I can't green, really smell it. Citrus green tea. <laughs> Oh my word! Yeah, it smells good. You disgraced my. Oh, I skipped over two albums, I think. Oh really? Worry by Jeff Rosenstock. Oh Jeff, you know how long it's been since I've listened to Jeff Rosenstock. The while. The while. Goodness yeah. gracious. And veteran by JPEG Mafia. Yep. Mhm. That's a good list of albums. Yeah. Um, food is my last one. I actually don't have that many lists that I want to make. Books, um, movies, and food. Those are the three that I could really pin down. Um, how about top favorite plants? Top favorite no. instruments? Snails. I could maybe go to snails. I've looked at a lot of snail information. You could do top three types of chairs to sit in. <laughs> I haven't sat in that many chairs in my life. 
Uh, top top five types of toothpaste. Mm, that's that's good. a good one. Top five brands of radiators. <laughs> brands. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. What's the best? Like, what's the what's the the worst slash best like list of your favorite things that someone could make? Like, mm. it's like oh, that's a that's like arg- that's objectively a bad list of favorite things, but it, like it works. Like a bad idea for something. Yes. Okay. Um. Mm. Toasters. Toasters. Yeah, because favorite like, kinds of toasters. Yeah, it's like why would you want to know that? But it's like the to- toasters matter. Like you get yeah. toasters where it's like it's not good. Like you can't you can't toast. Maybe, a no, no, no. Piece of toast yeah, in the let me let me get that. Let me get that. Let me uh, bring it back a little bit. Okay. Microwaves. I'm gonna do that to microwaves because what I was trying to put onto the toasters, I've really noticed with microwaves. Okay. You know, some micro like the microwave we have at home right now only like heats up the bottom section of the food. Oh, really? Yeah. For some, it's oh. uh, it's older, and so I, don't, mm-hmm. I just think there's something wrong with it. But um, <laughs> you know that there's some. <laughs> Did you remember the scene from The Office? No. I, li- I just like thought of, when we were in the dining hall, we saw that one. We saw that. I I it, I'm thinking of the video where it's the guy who's in his backyard and he's got like an anime T-shirt on, and he's like, "All right, guys, here we go!" And he's and he's and he jumps off this table and. Uh, or he takes off his shirt first, and then he elbow drops <laughs> the, uh, the microwave, and he's just rolling around on the ground in pain. Oh my word! Oh, I'm gonna look that up. And then he's like, he's elbow dropped other things too. Like he elbow dropped some barbed wire one time, I think. <laughs> Is that his thing? Is he yeah, elbow drops. I think so. Yeah. So microwaves. I think that you could have a list of favorite microwaves, and people could get you. Like, people don't really think about it a lot, but I think the type of microwave that you have... Oh, my God. The type of microwave that you have really can affect your quality of life. Any of them. Do any of them. This is Super Human TV Show. Today, I'll be jumping onto this microwave. This is for Juggalos and Juggalettes. Don't try something. Oh, my gosh. Oh, did he just, just say Juggalos out. and yes, Juggalettes? Yes, he did. Oh, yes, my... Yes, he did. What? This is... It better the plot thickens. It It does. <laughs> Oh. oh my goodness. Oh my god. What is wrong with him? <laughs> this is Supreme T Show today. I'll be jumping onto toy cars and bricks. This is for juggalos and juggalettes. Do not try this at home, and I hope you like it. Whoop, whoop. Oh, was no. it off of the rocks? There were some rocks behind him. I thought it was just a set piece. He's just, oh my goodness. Oh my. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's um um it's like this is the reason that before WWE shows now they have to have a disclaimer like WWE is not responsible oh, for, yeah. for any injuries. Please do not try this at home. Okay, if you have the time right now, look up uh, uh look fl- up flying elbow drop onto microwave. Yeah, and like a- any of the videos. Yeah, and WWE CM Punk style. Oh my word. This is Superhuman Two Show today. I'll be jumping onto this printer. <laughs> You think you've developed the speech thing after his first elbow drop? (laughs) He's like, we need to add something to this. No, No, it wasn't his fault. It wasn't. He didn't do it intentionally. I'm saying after his first elbow drop, something happened and he did like messed up his head. He really follow he really uh, follows it. That one was a, that's a really bad one. But Buster on the- <laughs> Okay, I can't stop This is Super Human TV Show, and today I will be jumping on to this pumpkin. This is for Juggalos and Juggalettes. Don't try this at home. I hope you like it. Whoop whoop. <laughs> I love the system. So <laughs> <laughs> he's so he's so systematic. He's it's like the custom, same, bro. Yeah, it's the same thing every time. It's the same thing every time. 
when you have it, when it's not broken, don't fix it. Exactly. If you have a recipe that works, uh, yeah, it's a recipe for disaster. Yeah, it's will. perfect. It's beautiful. <laughs> 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 You think that one hurt that much? No, oh, that, that, that one that. was kind of. That was the only time I've been like. Yeah, because the, these other bit. ones were. Hey, Super Hero Two Show today. We do a folk run down this hill. This is for Jiggles and Jiggles. It really comes out in the Jiggles. <laughs> He's backing up. He's about to jump off a hill. <laughs> the bushes were all right. Wow. All right, that that's was, uh, uh, that's a lot of editing right there. Oh, that was. Oh my! That, that might be my favorite series of videos. Yeah, just right there. It's real quick. Let's let's just see if there's any more we missed. Oh, microwave part two. Ooh, barbed wire cake. Oh my! Uh, all right. Wait a. Those oh. high notes. All right, all right, all right. Hang Congrats on. on being above average. What's your favorite kind of M&M? The, the, the peanut butter one, without a doubt. Yeah. The fat ones. Yeah, they're really good. They're good ones besides that. I think I like caramel and uh, mm. like the coffee nut, the them. coffee nut that they have, but the peanut butter is definitely, definitely up there. I think that may be the number one, too. Yeah. This is Supreme TV Show. Shout out to Voltage Lodge for sponsoring have a nice, uh, this stuff close video. Up here. They have an upcoming event called Juggalo Prom 2019. It's going to be at Philadelphia on October just say, 25th. Was that Philadelphia? No, Philadelphia. The ticket information is going to be in my comments. Now let's get to the stuff. This is Supreme TV Show. Today, All right, what makes it? Oh, okay. What makes There's it a barbed barb wire? Okay, so it's it. a cake with like just a thing of barbed wire. Yeah. There's 48 videos in this. Okay, this is the last one. Last, this is one, last, this is last, last one. one. Last one. Last one. As much as I would love to go through this series of videos in its entirety, this is a, the series of oh, what is this? <laughs> it really doesn't get bad. It really doesn't get like. Every time the impact is like just as good as the last one, it really doesn't get worse. Can we please watch the printer one? Just one more. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah, we can watch the printer one. Uh, I really do recommend. Flying a. Okay, wait, yeah, the printer. The, yeah, the printer one was the best. That one was like solid. Like, yeah. there's nothing. He did not. The printer did not have any give. No. Do not try this at home. I hope you like it. That one, that one was like, that one was solid. Like, oh, um, there, like you, there has to be something, some, some neurons aren't connecting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about that. Uh, <laughs> his power level is rising too fast. He <laughs> <laughs> can't be stopped. I'm praying he just never finds a cinder block or something. On the road or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy could be a he's a that may be a dan he's a danger to himself. Yeah, he's. <laughs> With a cinder block, do you think it, how high of a chance would that be to like break a bone? Almost Ooh. like for sure, almost for sure. From that height, like he's going how far? He's do going we think? hard. How far do we think? Yeah, he's definitely not like pulling it. Like he's definitely not. Um. Making it easier on like, himself. It's like he like doesn't feel not... fear. <laughs> <laughs> he may be the most dangerous man alive. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> when the teacher gives you an F for a project. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, he does not... That's admirable. Oh, my goodness. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. All right, consensus on the tea. Uh, I give it. Oh wait, it um, says, two a comment says up. to watch it on point twenty five speed. Okay, we have a few um, ideas. That was all right. I honestly yeah, think, I, I, I think a normal speed. I, yeah, yeah, I think it was a normal speed. That was better. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, we let's uh, let's choose. You want to do <laughs> this? You want to do uh, it, maybe an improv conspiracy, yeah. and then we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Ben has come up with a. I think he has a really long list of. It's like. I that's that's a good find. That's a good yeah. find right there. Mm-hmm. You think it's better than Mert got this in the uh, It may this one. This guy is giving us more content. That's he's, true. He's kind of he spit out some. Uh, some All right. videos for so sure. They're I have short seventy two topics. Seventy two. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's perfect, actually, because we can knock out two, and then we'll have 70, and that's an even number. All right. And we'll just blow it. We'll, we'll just delete it. All right. All right, Ethan. Give me two numbers. Um, let's... We Should we do a, the briefest introduction? You want to do a brief introduction? All right. Conspiracy theory. In, improv... Okay, here we go. Improv theory, conspiracy theory, improv... Yeah! So, basically, what the impromptu conspiracy theory podcast is, is that we take two topics... And we, uh, two conspiracy theories, and then we try to link them together with another conspiracy, and then in the end, we talk about how the Illuminati ties into all of it at the end. So, okay. we have 72 topics right here, because in the future we want to do an impromptu conspiracy thought podcast, the actual podcast. Yeah, that's an, that's an idea that Ben had is like this is the, one of the only things that we... One of the oldest <laughs> ideas. Not, yeah, the oldest, and it's, it's a, something that we get... Started on, and I think it's something that we really enjoy doing. Um, yeah, it didn't last. The last time there was one that was harder to connect, and that one was slower. It was yeah. the. Uh, it was the. It was. Um, shoot, there were a few of them actually. I, I just the, remember the last ones very, were more difficult. The, the last we, ones were more difficult. The time we very did it the very first time at, yeah. your, at your house. There, there's some really easy. There's some ones that we've done that have been really, like super smooth. There's some yeah. ones that are de- they're definitely harder to go, but that's just like our own. That's like just the things that we're given, like when we choose yeah. the things to do. Are there like Oscars for podcasts? Like, <laughs> we'd we'd get one of those for <laughs> for our impromptu. If, the, if there is, if there is, then um, I think we should be nominated. Yeah, we nominate ourselves. We nominate ourselves. We get a bunch of voting bots. Mm-hmm. Russian like the, voting like bots. Like those things that we do, they do for cahoots. The yes. Cahoots bots where it like yeah. ramps it up to a hundred or something. Dang, why I don't know I why. I don't that? know what the purpose of that is. Dude, win Kahoot. But it does. It's not you. It's not. Aunt, there's only one person who can win Kahoot. So oh. it's creating every bot that's gonna like. Is it just to fill up the space? I wonder if there's a max amount of players, mm. or is just to be annoying, like to the teacher or something. Here's here's something that it's really like a, grinds my gears. In Kahoot, when the teacher made it so that you you couldn't put in your own name. Mm, like your own. Yeah, had to be Nickname. like your, Oh yeah. Like when when that's the sign. What when you know a teacher is teacher is cool or not cool. Not cool. Yeah, I think that's immediate. That's a that's a good first base like impression. Yeah, that's a good if if you're if the teacher makes it so that Kahoot gets randomly generated nicknames, which is just like adjective than animal. Yeah. It's always that. Then you're just like, all right, I don't even I didn't even want to play when they did that. Yeah. I didn't even want to play. It wasn't even fun. Yeah. Cause like, <laughs> I, what? How is it? How? You can't do anything when your name's not Cal- Cowgirl for Christ Four. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, you, were, were you right, when you're when yeah, 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 Cowgirl for Christ like seven? When you're reduced, when you're reduced to your own uh, parent given name, mm-hmm. it really takes away from who you could be. Yeah, your potential, your yeah. your very personal potential. It kills creativity. It kills creativity, which and then I think that kills a lot of uh, intrinsic motivation. Exactly, which we learned about last semester. In psychology. Mm-hmm. Um, so and that's, we're closing the book on that. Yes. With that, Ethan, I'd like you to give me two numbers from 1 to 72. 5 and 63. All right. 5. Hitler. 
Okay. And 63, The Titanic. Oh my. I <laughs> know! <laughs> I was trying to say, I think I'm going to sneeze, but I... You said I have instead. <laughs> I sneeze in the middle of it. Okay, so Hitler and the Titanic. The Titanic, okay. So, first, let's get a baseline here. Yeah. Titanic sank in, like, what, the 50s? <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally, I do not know. Titanic sank... I don't know. All right, I'm guessing 1916. Let's okay. see. Okay. We, we have a Titanic, okay? Yeah. It sunk in... 1912. 1912. It sunk in 1912. April 14th. To our knowledge, it hit an iceberg, mm -hmm. and then it sank, and a lot of people... How many people died on the Titanic? Oh, 1,500. Mm. How many people got off? Do we know? <laughs> um, I'm not sure how many people were on there originally. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, estimated two thousand two hundred. So that's that's a that's a wide margin of people that lost their lives that day. Okay, so that was nineteen twelve, I think. Yes. Um, and Hitler. Okay, so mm -hmm. he was a man who uh, ruled uh, Germany mm -hmm. um, for a period of time. Yep, from in the, a very unsavory way. Yes. I think, yes. Uh, uh, we can both so much. So. Didn't we mention the Holocaust? Uh, Deniers earlier? Yeah. We did. <clears throat> Someone. I, like, I was making a joke. I think it was, like, Guy Fieri was a Holocaust denier or something. Oh, I don't think you said that on this podcast. Um, I think we mentioned it in a different sense. Hmm. That's, that's another time. Guy Fieri is another... Yeah. He's another uh, cherry, on the, cherry on the tree. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so, Titanic. Let, let, uh, we're just getting a baseline for both of these yeah. things, right? Yeah. So, Hitler rose to power in the 30s. Okay. During um, the great like German recession or mm -hmm. whatever, because they were bankrupted after World War One. Okay. And then they, all these countries, including Germany, like signed this bill saying that Germany can never do all these things again. And a lot of people in Germany didn't like that, especially Hitler. Okay. And he was like, ah, join me, and then we'll we will be strong again or whatever. And so he ended up, he actually ended up, like, rising to power through that kind of, like, he kind of undershot. Uh, the... I think, I think he, um, he, like, burned down Parliament or something. Oh, okay. All right. Or he burned <clears throat> something. Um, okay, so he rose to power in the 1930s. Um, and oh, then... in office 1921. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Oh, he was Chancellor of Germany from 1933 to 1945. Is that what we're looking at? Chancellor? Is that like a president? So there's Fuhrer of the Nazi Party, there's Chancellor of Germany, and there's Fuhrer of Germany. What? I have no idea. When was like his, his, his ruling years? Like overall, like I don't know about all the Fuhrer and Chancellor stuff. Probably Fuhrer of Germany. Yeah. So thirty four to forty five. Okay, so he he kind of came to power. When how old would he? How old was he when he came to power? Do we know? So thirties. Like um. Forty? No, maybe forties. Let's see. Where's his early forties? Oh, apparently he also served in World War One as well, or he did serve in World War One. Okay. Where's come on? Where's his age at? Um. Okay, well, what are the, I mean, what are some things we can pin down as far as, um, kind of the, something that's not quite right about the Titanic? The um, placement of okay. the iceberg, that's, I mean, that's Ooh, one yes. thing. Oh, have you heard the theory that, um, that it wasn't the Titanic that sank? It was this other ship called the Olympia, I think it was? No. So, um... There've been some theories. There's this other. Sh I'm just gonna call it the Olympia because that's what I think it was. Okay. So this other ship called the Olympia. Um, it had a certain amount of um, windows on it, right? Mm -hmm. And then the Titanic had a different amount of windows. So then the the Olympia people were like, "Oh, it's 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 really old ship," and it looked just like the Titanic, but it wasn't. Okay. So then people are saying that they switched the ships out. And then because um, someone looked and counted and there was like a wrong number of windows on it or something like huh. that. So then they're saying that they shipped out the Olympia. 
and then it sank. On purpose? I don't know on purpose or not, but I know... Um, Why would they switch it? Um, let's just make it up. I mean, no, let's... You know why? Here's why they wanted like to switch it. All right, so Hitler, what was he doing in 1912? He was trying to find ways to get into power, maybe. He was being angry. Mm-hmm. He was... Ooh, he was two years after 1912. Mm-hmm. He started in the army. He started in the army, okay. Um... Right. Was he in the, like, infantry or Air Force, Navy, just in uh, the Army? He was Gear Freighter. What? <sighs> uh, it's the second rank to be enlisted in a soldier. Oh. Second enlisted rank within the modern-day German Army. Hmm. When did he quit his, like, career as a painter? Um... From what I understand, he was not accepted into art school. Okay, and so that's, that would have been before. Yeah, and then he, um, he, I think he kept painting throughout his life, but I know he like, uh, did not get accepted into art school. Okay. Huh. Do we think Hitler was on the ship? Mm, wait a minute. Were they trying to take him wait out? Wait a minute. Oh my, wait, wait, wait. People from the future, Hitler was on the... Olympia, mm-hmm. and people. Tra- wait, wait, wait. What did they do? What did they do? Hitler was on the the Titanic. The Titanic was going to sink. Okay. Right. So people from the future said, "What can we do to? <laughs> <laughs> what can we do to get the to like? If we had one event, they're just trying to they're just trying to develop the technology to go back in time. So like, yeah. what what's one thing that we would reverse? Like if you we'll had kill Hitler. Kill Hitler, right. So what's the easiest way to do that? We'll go back. Sink him on the Titanic. We'll go back. We'll switch the ships. We'll put... He's on the Olympia mm-hmm. at the time that the... Ti- he's on the, at the, on the Olympia. Yes. Right? At the time that the Titanic is also going. They're both going at the same time. But we'll switch their, like, charts. We'll put Ooh. the Olympia in the, in the place of the iceberg. And then we'll put... Uh, the Titanic, just wherever. We don't, I guess we don't know. But then that, that, that kind of raises the question. Oh, Olympic. Oh, the RMS Olympic. Olympic. <clears throat> if that Maybe we should make work them. backwards. Okay, how, how do, do we... the Illuminati work into this? Mm. <sighs> so, the Illuminati, did they, so the, okay. The Illuminati... They were the ones that made it so that Hitler failed art school. or couldn't go to art school. Okay. They rejected him. They rejected Hitler from art school. So, uh, what does Hitler do? He sinks the Titanic. (laughs) 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 Oh, yeah. Well, that would make sense. Because if he's, if two years later... Wait a minute. What year did he... If, yeah, no. If he's, if he's, if he's... If he gets in the army two years after the Titanic, that would make sense. He would have failed art school before the Titanic made it to sea. What day did Hitler... Ah, dang it. Rejected twice. Once in 1907, once in 1908. Wait, no, that works! That's perfect! That works! That's perfect, Benjamin! found it. The Illuminati rejects... The Illuminati rejects Hitler from art school. Mm-hmm. He sinks the Titanic. He sinks the Titanic. That's absolutely... And then comes to power. As a second form of revenge. Okay, so how does he sink the Titanic? How does he do it? Okay, so Hitler, or the Nazis, very heavily involved with uh, alien technology. Yeah. You watch any, you watch the History Channel after 11 o'clock, you know. Oh, yeah. Immediately. That's like the yeah, first it's, thing it's they fact. say. That's like the, you know when they come up and they're like, this is this is based on true events or whatever. Mm-hmm. They, yeah. They preface all that with the Nazis were involved with alien technology. Exactly, exactly. Like, basically, if you don't know that, it's like going into a math class without knowing how to add or subtract. Right, of course. Easy. So, 
Hitler liked icebergs. Yeah. He put one up. They're aesthetic. He's a painter. He's a painter. He's a painter. What is what is more majestic than a sheet? Can you think of how much water was frozen? Wow. And how long it would have taken for an iceberg or, you know, like any like any mountain, any like large terrestrial formation. Yeah. Um, or in this case, marine formation. So he, you know, it's very um, it's very earthy. It's kind of very spiritual. And he li- he enjoyed capturing those things. He was taking down. A part of the world, mm-hmm. and you know, people, uh, the population. He was taking down. He was taking people from this life. Yes. He was taking souls from this life, like the Illuminati had taken his soul. Like his love, Jack. His love in Titanic. Yeah. Is He's, that his name, Jack? Uh, maybe. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, I yeah. haven't seen it. I'm neither. Why? Um. So just like they took his love of painting away by rejecting him from art school, he used one of his favorite There's some things, like gibbons. Out yeah, there. Um, mandrels. Some favorite, <laughs> one of his favorite things to paint, um, and used it against them and took you know mm-hmm. uh, the Titanic out of this world yeah. as revenge. Just kind of as like a power statement. Yeah, like, okay, you guys go ahead and build... The biggest ship of all time, and I'm gonna sink it. And I'm gonna sink it. I'm gonna and sink he, it. He exactly. Did just that. Exactly. How did he put the? Did he? What did he do? He just like scribbled out where they were supposed to go and led them to the iceberg. Yeah. Uh, because the. They hired him as the painter for their map. Yes, it's in the documents, unclassified. The uh, the driver of the Titanic was a Nazi sympathizer. <laughs> so knowing that, um, it's it's easy. Um, if he gets a chance to work with Hitler. You know, of course, of course he's going to take it. Yeah. Of course he's going to take he's it. All, he's like, all right, listen, all you got to do is crash the ship into some icebergs. Uh-huh. And then the guy, his name was, uh, this, is un, this is declassified, it's in the documents. His name is, um, his name is... Um, you can make anything more interesting by saying it's declassified. <laughs> it's, it's declassified. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> but it's Alex Jones says it, though. It's declassified. You can see it in the documents. Yeah. Uh, his name was Wiener Schnitzel von uh, Lederhosen. Roughly translated. Roughly translated. And to um, Adam Smith. <laughs> I just thought of the first name I could think of. Uh, well, that's, that's a wrap. Yeah, easy. Um, so, so basically to run over it, um, Illuminati took Hitler's soul. Hitler got ma- No, sorry. Uh... Hitler tried to apply to art school, but then the Illuminati, um, for some reason, they knew that he was going to do bad things one day, you know, so they wanted to spark that for some reason. I don't know why. But we'll never know. Uh, still classified at this time. Um, so they rejected him from art school, and then Hitler decided to sink the Titanic because the, no- the driver was a Nazi sympathizer. Yeah. All right. Easy. That's easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It hasn't been popular since like the 60s in the Vietnam War. Yeah, you're trying to bring him back. Yeah. Hey, we can do it again because of coronavirus, you know? Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Um. What were we going to do? I think close it out. There are a lot of uh, cu- there are a lot of cuts in this episode. There but, are. Um, it's experimental. It's, it's art. A, yeah, it's experimental. Uh, so we, we ended yeah. it with the improv conspiracy. Mm-hmm. Um. I think we were going to do one more and then look at uh, past mm. episodes, but I think right now we're, we took a little break and now we're pooped. Mm-hmm. Now we're both tired. Yeah, we watched uh, we Superhuman. Also, Human. Oh yeah, that's what the guy's name is that was doing all those tricks. His name is Superhuman. With two M's. With two M's, so if you want to go check it out. He is my new favorite YouTuber. He does say some curse words. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's evident from our the fact that I'm going to have to bleep out 18 yeah. Well, there's gonna be a lot of beeps in here, but it is. Uh, if you're not, well, you uh, have to wa- say if you're not wary of that, blank this blank every blank time. Blank this blank every time. And when he get when he is in pain. Yeah, writing. he does. He does some some other. He brings up some other words that mm-hmm. I may have to. Uh, 
yeah, a race from the audio. But Man, I want to be like him. He is cool. Yeah, he, he's a cool guy. I just need to buy, and it's 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 because he's so humble and simple. Yeah, he like, doesn't go out of his way to. He's not flashy. He's not doing. He's not flashy. Yeah, it's simple. It's quick. I was just saying to Ben, we were just we just got done watching it, uh, some of his videos, and it was like, he doesn't he doesn't um, he doesn't linger on the pain or yeah. aftermath very long. Like he because that's he not lands, what's important. It's, he lands on. It's the fact that he did it mm-hmm. right. It's the and then it's the moment of. But he doesn't linger on the pain too much. Yeah. He just he basically he does the drop or the you know whatever it is the coffin drop the yeah. elbow drop or the butt butt buster butt buster whatever it may be he doesn't spend too much time on it mm-hmm. and uh, so something I I think we can take away from that is that I, we think that the most meaningful things in life are the things that you um, that come from the heart yeah because really he's just a he's just a um. A 21-year-old clown, jo- wait, insane clown, clown, insane clown posse fan, mm-hmm. and that's it. You know, he just wants to have some fun. Yeah. And I, I applaud him for that. Yeah. So do I. You know, I mean, all you need is just an insane clown posse T-shirt that you can take off. Yeah. A backyard, and something you can jump through, or fall like fall crash into. And that's the recipe. That's that, the that's it. Recipe for success. Yeah, and he's got. Uh, he's got his own merch mm-hmm. and everything. He's living the dream. Yeah, so he's all good. He's all set. Um, but yeah, we're tired, and maybe this is a metaphor. Yeah, maybe this maybe. is a metaphor. I but s- oh, we were talking to my dad earlier, and he made it. He came up with a great point that this doesn't actually have to be the end yeah. <laughs> of the B and E podcast. We Ben and I may end up just staying in here we yeah. may be in here actually a lot so this it's very possible that we'll continue to upload episodes in fact it's, more, it's kind of more convenient it's more con- it's almost more convenient that we don't have classes so this this may actually be the start of, of something uh, new. Of more common uploads start something however I'm, I'm happy that we went I'm happy that we did this I'm yeah. happy that we went in to this with the energy that we may not be coming out of it yeah um, and with that regardless of where the b and podcast will go or the rest of uh, floor five. Yeah. Um, the outbreak began here <laughs> Wednesday night in, on floor five of Smith Residence Hall uh, at the University of Nebraska Lincoln. Ground zero in 505. <laughs> our, our news anchor brings you live to the scene. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Mark. Thanks for having me. As you can see, room 505 with their disgusting wall picture in front of their, on their door. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, this is where the coronavirus started. Thank you, Jennifer. That'll be all. That'll be all. Dun, 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 dun. It's been, a, it's a great time. Yeah. Been a, even though this may not be the end. Um, feels good. Yeah. Feels good. But it's also sad. It's bittersweet. Yeah. It's bittersweet. Uh, so dinner. maybe for the last time, or Mary, possibly not the last time. Yeah. You want to uh, play gonna, us out, Ben? We can, yeah. We can tell you this, though. <laughs> <laughs> ben just flung his Ice Mountain sparkling uh, spring water flavored black cherry all over his futon. Okay, so, but well, we can tell you this, though. There will be more podcasts in the future. Mm-hmm. Regardless of what form they come in. Yes. But this is uh, the end of an era for now. Maybe for only a week. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, we'll say for the last time, mm-hmm. goodbye. Goodbye. All right, I'm gonna let's play us out. And a one, two, one, one two, two, three, four. four.